Anna, Sarah, Monica, Addison, Linda, Stephanie, Anissa, Tracy, Katie. I plan to create Marie. How are you guys doing tonight? Can you guys hear me and everything okay? I am having a great day. How are you doing, Marie? Hi, Liz. Coffee powered home. What's for dinner? We did simple tonight. We had grilled cheese, which, you know, it is what it is, but it was good. And those of you who remember my post that's on my Facebook group about grilled cheese, <laughs> have y'all tried it with the mayonnaise yet? So I had a whole debate thing going on on my Facebook one day of who has tried grilled cheese with mayonnaise instead of butter on the bread. So if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. It's so good. I never thought that it would be good until I tried it. So if you haven't tried it, you need to. And see, my kids don't like mayonnaise. And I kind of snuck it on there and saw if they could tell, you know, if there's mayonnaise on it. And they didn't notice. And they said, oh, this grilled cheese is so good. Let me try it. <laughs> so what are you guys up to tonight? What are y'all doing? How was your Monday? How um, did you guys do anything exciting today? Did you work? Did you what did you do? Well, thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, today um, we had to go grocery shopping this morning and then I got back and did a lot of computer work. So all that's done. I pretty much did all of my computer work for the whole week, which feels good to get that knocked out. And now I'm going to be working on some orders tonight and answering some questions. School so boring. Oh, I understand that. <laughs> That's one thing I do not miss. We're filling orders while watching. Well, hi, Rebecca. Glad to have y'all here. So you had a couple orders. Just finished a mock-up for a customer. That sounds fun. Spent the day with a teething baby. Oh, my goodness. I remember those days. My oldest didn't really have problems with teething, but my youngest did. So I definitely can relate to that. I'm making glitter flow pins. Well, that sounds cool. I don't know what that is, but it sounds really cool. I'm a teacher in the Caribbean, and we just had a school road race. Well, that sounds really fun. Shoveled six more inches of snow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been having snow, so I wanted to touch on that. So how are all of you doing that are in the areas that got hit with all the snow? And we didn't get any, so um, all we've got here is rain, so... um. I have heard about all that snow. That's awful. I heard some places got like 16 inches. I can't imagine. Sally, I'm 12 years old and you inspire me so much. My parents got me a Cricut for Christmas and I fell in love with making signs, which led me to refinishing furniture. Well, Addison, that is amazing that you are 12 and you have learned in your Cricut and doing refinishing furniture. Oh my gosh, if you keep it up, you are going to be amazing, which you already are amazing. The fact that you have that kind of mindset, you're going to do great things with your life. So keep it up. Thanks, Kaylee. This is one. Oh, <laughs> this is one of the sublimate, sublimated shirts I made. So I've been testing it out and seeing the quality of the shirts, which I really like. They are the um, jerseys brand, really soft, and I really like them so far. So thank you. Getting ready for a craft show. That sounds fun. I've always wanted to do a craft show, but I just never have found the time to prepare all of the preparation work that goes into craft shows. I don't know how you guys do it. I've always wanted to, though. It's been something that I just kind of just want to go through and experience. Okay, so what made you decide on an Epson printer for sublimation versus a sawgrass? So Sarah... I decided on an Epson because I did so much research within just a span of a few days. I was just researching like that's all I was doing. And I even consulted with some people that were very experienced in the sublimation world. And I was ready to get a sawgrass like that's what I was going to do because um, they kind of are the leaders and the sublimation community, I guess. And that person recommended to me that the Epson eco tanks are like the same thing. And they're literally a portion, a very small portion of the price that then Sawgrass are. So they're cheaper. The ink is so much cheaper and people rave about them. So I just said, you know what? This is my first sublimation experience. I'm going to do it. So that's why I went for it. There's a lot of perks to it. And then 
the quality you get, as y'all can see, like they're super vibrant um, and they do what any other printer that are sublimated printers can do. So that's kind of why I decided to go with the Epson and I recommend them to everyone so far. So no complaints yet. I'm making a weekly wall planner for myself. We'll be cutting vinyl after watching your live. That sounds fun. Have I messed with sublimation yet? Yes, Monica, I've made a ton of shirts and I've been testing them for over a week now. It'll be two weeks at the end of this week. I've been washing one like over and over and over and over again, just to kind of see how it withstands washes. And I'm even doing it like the full test, not the ones that I'm going to recommend. Like you have to turn it inside out. You can't use fabric softener. I'm like full force going at it. Um, like just throwing it in there, putting all the fabric softener, tumble drying it. And they're doing great. So, so far, so good. Liz, you still haven't set up your eco tank. You need to do it. You're missing out. You need to go for it. Are the snowflakes in my shop yet? So, Sherry, not yet. Unfortunately, I've not got them up yet. Um, I've been working. I've actually had a lot going on this last week. It was my daughter's birthday and I had a lot of orders to do and it was just kind of a busy week. So I haven't gotten them up, but I'm going to do that very soon. Yes, Addison, you need to do it for sure because you just never know what could happen for sure. Do it. Oh, thank you, Shana. Where do I purchase shirts from? I purchased them from Jiffy Shirts. I really like them and it was only like a day shipping. It was, I think I placed the order on a Sunday and got them on Tuesday morning. So it was like a day. Oh yeah, Kaylee, that's right. You're 13 as well. You got girls, hats off to you guys. Y'all keep it up. I'm so proud of you. I know seeing young, young ones that are ready to, and like have that mindset, that business mindset. Just imagine if we would have started young like they are. Oh, boy. Just trying the dye press poly spray as soon as I get it set up. I love using AJ blanks for kids. Yes, let me know how that goes. I've heard mixed things about the poly sprays. So please let me know, Liz. I've heard that they last for a little while, but then they wash off. I'm just telling you the truth. That's what I've heard. So please let me know how that goes. I'm anxious to see if it works. So Adobe Illustrator was hard to learn. So yes and no. Um, if you're familiar with all of the like Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, all that stuff. It's not too bad. I kind of didn't really know much of anything other than I used the, um, I do use, what is it called? <sighs> Premiere Pro to edit my videos. So I'm kind of familiar with some of Adobe. And when I did the, um, I did a course kind of learning on how to design SVGs and it kind of taught you the Illustrator route. So I did learn a lot of the basics that way. Um, but I would definitely suggest just going on YouTube and learning all about Adobe Illustrator's basic tools, like the pen tool and the shapes, all that to kind of give you a general idea and then go to SVG from there because there is so much in Adobe Illustrator that there is to learn. So I would definitely recommend just learning the basics first. Okay. So yes, tonight I'm getting to work. I have a goal. I want to get all those decals done tonight. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get them all done during the live, but um, I want to get all my week's worth of decals done today. That would be really cool if I could get those done today. Well, I know I'll probably get more throughout the week, so I'll probably have more orders throughout the week to get done, but I'm gonna get done all of the ones that I have now. Can't do wood signs tonight, but tomorrow y'all, it's gonna be 66 degrees outside and I am so excited to go outside and cut wood. I love cutting wood when it's warm, when it's cold outside. Oh my gosh, I cannot stand it. So I'm excited to go out tomorrow and cut some wood, get all my woodworking done tomorrow, and then um, get the wood signs done tomorrow. So today is decals, and I'm gonna also print out all my orders, get those ready, and then get maybe the packing stuff ready. I got some new mailers. I know if y'all didn't see my last video, I think they're really cute. I'm gonna get them and show them to you guys. Okay, so these are going to be like for my shirt orders and my 
large decals that you guys have seen me do that I put the cardboard in. So I got these cute little ice creams. I just thought it was good for like the warmer weather coming up. It was between these and the sprinkles because, you know, and then I got some uh, stripes, I guess, painted stripes, just kind of basic stuff. And then I also got some stickers. I left one of them downstairs, um, but I got these little, these are going to be kind of for the, a lot more of the shirts and stuff like that. And then the wood side, just things that are, there's a lot more in, into the package, if that makes sense. So this is pretty things inside. Really good quality. They're Amazon for like, I don't even remember. I think it was like nine or ten dollars for like, I think this one was like five hundred. And then this one's like a rose gold. Thank you. It's really shiny. And it is black with the rose gold. Thank you in it. And then the other one I got says happy mail. So those are the new stickers that I got to try out. And these are the new mailers. And I also have black matte mailers too downstairs. So I'm going to be using those for my decals and then I'll put the bright stickers on it to kind of give it pops of color. Because y'all know me, I like my black and my white, but I like to add pops of color here and there. So anyways, that's what I got going on. Um, can you make and sell decals using design bundles? Okay, so yes, you can use design bundles to make decals for sure. Are you talking about, okay, you're wanting to sell the decals from design bundles. So honestly, I am a little bit confused about the whole what you can use clip art to sell and not to sell. You have to read the fine print of all of the designers. Some of them say do not use if you're going to use in a portion of an SVG file. Some are totally cool with that. So you have to really read and look into that. Some people don't care and they use them. And I'm not one of those people. I like to make sure I'm doing everything right. So I guess really just do your research. There are some websites that have commercial free pictures you can use if you're going to make SVG files and sell them from that. But I'm still in the research process of that. I've been drawing all of my stuff completely from scratch because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to use other stuff. But Okay, when you do all your decals, do you lift them to make sure they come off the clear back? And that's a great question, Christina. I actually do because I'm like kind of OCD about that kind of stuff. I like to make sure because I've had situations in the past when I really wasn't knowing what I was doing with vinyl and getting the settings right where it would be cutting too deep. And you think that everything's perfect and good because it weeded great. But then when you have the transfer tape and you lift it up, the vinyl and the backing comes up with it. So you're left with a film like on the back of the vinyl where you can't adhere the vinyl. Does that make sense? So I always check. It's almost just like part of my process now. Like when I adhere the decal, pull it up, make sure that you can see that vinyl background and then put it back and you know you're good to go. I just do it as like a, a product test. Is that the right word? I do it as a test before I send them out. I bought some gold vinyl and it's more like stiff foil. Is that how it should be? I was expecting more like Techcraft soft vinyl. So I would keep the foil because a lot of people like that. Maybe you could have it as like a separate listing. But no, the regular vinyl is just regular metallic vinyl. It should be. So I would look into that. Um, go and try and find. I don't know what kind of vinyl you're wanting to sell. But I like Oracle. I've heard Starcraft is really good. So it just really depends on what look you're going for. Do I pre-cut my signs and sizes I offer? I honestly, I want to, but I just kind of cut as I go at this point. So if I, it, on one day a week, my husband and I will go outside. And I say my husband, I'm pretty much the one that cuts the wood at this point. But um, he helps me with like the big, if I have really big sheets, he helps me get those cut down. And if I'm cutting one by twos, he'll help me because it can be dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing with the table saw and you don't have all the protective gear, all that stuff, I recommend having more than one person to help you. But yes, I pre-cut what I can sometimes, and I'm gonna start doing that soon, but right now I cut as I get orders. Is it better to do ads on Etsy or Facebook? So uh, Etsy ads, I'm kind of still in between about that. I am getting sales, I haven't checked it in a couple days. So let's see how Etsy ads are going. I do not check them often at all. I probably should because I'm putting money into it. Not much money. I do $5 a day. So 
with $5 a day this month, I've spent $148 and 48, 44 cents in 30 days and I've made 604 from those ads in a month. So I think, I don't know. Some people say your return should be a certain percentage. I feel like that's good because it's what, five times my, well, four and a half times my, what I put into it. So I think that Etsy ads is worth experimenting with. You can make, you know, some good money doing that. And I used to make really, really good money on Etsy ads. So I would recommend starting at a dollar a day, see how it goes, go up to $3 a day, then $5 a day. I might even increase it to 10 just to see. So we'll see how that goes. And Facebook ads. Oh, I don't know. Facebook is a very tricky thing, I think, because I don't really know a lot about it. But I did run an ad on a post just to see how it went. And I got like no nothing. I mean, sometimes the people that are even on your Facebook won't even see your post. That's how Facebook works. They want you to spend the big bucks to even get your regular post to be shown. So I don't know a lot about that yet. So I'll be back about Facebook ads here when I learn a little bit more about it. Hi, stars above R. I remember you saying you were going to be here. We're glad to have you here. Lime green is here, Lynn. I'm going to go get it and I'm going to hang it up so we can have it back behind me. We got it. <laughs> Those of you who are lost about the lime green, I had lime green back here and it disappeared. We don't know where it went. It just vanished off my wall and I needed it. And I was like, what the heck? Where did it go? And I looked all over. I, I deep cleaned this room and it's gone. I think what I might have done is maybe I had the roll out and I maybe thought it was trash or maybe it got mixed up with my trash. So I had to get some new vinyl. And I just got it from Amazon. I do like the vivid vinyl. It's still Oracle, but it is vivid vinyl on Amazon's like the brand or the company name, I guess. But they sell Oracle and it's it's fine. They do wrap it really tight. So I do recommend getting it open as soon as possible and letting it, I guess, open up and get kind of um, not where it's so tightly wrapped because it will not cut. It, it might have bubbles. So I usually like let it out and get it a little bit. What is the word I'm looking for? Looser. So what am I doing tonight? I am working on decals tonight. I'm just going to work on a bunch of decals. I'm about to start cutting them now. I have all my computer stuff done. So I'm going to just go over there and get it started here in a minute. Hi, Renee. Sorry, guys. I'm a couple minutes behind on the chat. I'm trying to catch. Let me catch up real quick. What type of holographic vinyl I use? Well, lately I've been trying the, is it tech wrap, you guys? Yes, tech wrap. Is that what it's called? Yes, Tech Wrap. So Tech Wrap on Amazon. I have it linked, I think, in my Amazon shop, which is linked down below. Hi, Les Leslie. I think that's your name, right? Elbia Leslie is your name. Hey, Raquel. Wanted to make keychains with vinyl on the front to create a shadow behind the front. Are all permanent vinyls double-sided? So, yes, I think so, Liz. Double-sided. Um... Yes, they should be. And if I'm wrong, somebody correct me if they're not double sided. But yes, I think so. How's the sublimation going? It is going great. I've only done, well, I've done a good amount of shirts, maybe like 18. And they all are doing pretty good. Um, my printer's doing great. No problems with that. The only weird thing that happened was is I've had to like clean the print head already, which I feel like isn't, I don't know if that's normal or not, but Jill, I am in the upstate. Oh, thanks, Jesse. What is my best selling item? That's a great question. So currently my best selling item is my home coordinates signs. Those sell very well. And I can see a lot of things that people will tell you is when you get a bestseller, take that sign and try and make a lot of other signs that are relating to that sign. So I started doing that. I kind of have like a, instead of home, it says home sweet home. And then I have one that says our first home with the coordinates. I'm going to kind of make spins off of it. Those do pretty well for me right now. Um, do I sell anywhere besides Etsy? I am currently getting set up on Go Imagine, which is a new 
website. I'm working on that. And um, kind of in the very early stages of that, it's they do donate um, pretty much all their profits to charity, which is pretty cool. Children's in need, children in need. So that is a new kind of Etsy ish like platform that I'm going to start selling on and then some on Facebook, but not really. And I have my own website, but I'm neglecting that thing. Like I need to get on it and fix some stuff up, but I'm working on it. Hey, Lou. Lime Green Bandits would be a good band name. I agree. <laughs> Lime Green Bandits. Um. Oh, Mary, you're right. Some are silver-backed. Hey, Nita. Hey, girl. Are there any places that cut wood for you? Lady C says, I think that Lowe's and Home Depot, well, the one here, it does cut your wood for you, but you, some places they charge depending on how much you want to get cut. Ours, that the guy told me at least, he said, we'll cut as many as you want as long as you're not coming with like a giant pallet of wood that you want cut down. So I don't take advantage of it though. I just usually get enough to go fit in my car because they don't, sometimes they don't know what they're doing y'all. That last guy that cut my wood, he cut if you guys know anything about birch wood, he cut the wood so fast and it was like, bzz, 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 and it split. And I don't know why I didn't say something, but in my mind, I was like, oh, I can just trim the side off and it'll be good. No, it messed like the entire piece up. I don't know what it did, but it just, it made the experience for birch not so good. <laughs> so anyways, I always get off topic, you guys. But yes, Lowe's and Home Depot should cut your wood for you if you have one of those locally. How are the bleaching of shirts going? April, they're going great. I'm learning techniques. I really like the white shirts too because they come out so vibrant because they're 100% polyester. So I really like the process so far. And I'm going to have a video coming up for you guys soon. Once I do my product launch, which I think is going to be this week, I'm going to do a video on how I sublimate the shirts. I'm going to do a couple of different videos on that. So y'all stay tuned. Hey, the little hive. Yeah, the sub, the bleach shirts. At first, I didn't know if I liked the style, but now that I see them, I really like it. I think it's really cool. It just depends on your style. At first, I was like, I don't know if I want to do just the center white. So just bleach the part around your um, just design. But then um, you quickly will realize if bleach even barely goes on your shirt, it will get all over. So I can see why people do that. They kind of bleach the entire shirt because it gives it that pop. So I really like it. How many fonts do I offer? So I think it's, um, what is it? Like 12 ish. I'd say depending on how busy you are and how well, you know, your fonts do what you like. I picked a good variety for different types of people. And I'm even starting to notice there's some that people haven't used in probably like a year. So I need to update my font list. I think I have like 12. I could be wrong. I might need to go back and check. But um, I would just go and find ones for different types of people. You know, there's the people that like the crazy big bold fonts. And then there's the people that like the subtle, the people that like the plain. So just do a big variety at least gives everybody like a good option to choose from. And um, just whatever you like, because really the point of, you know, them choosing you is they like your products and what you offer. So that's, I guess, what I recommend. Hey, Tammy. Allison, that's funny you say that because I have a hard time with HTV. I don't know how you guys weed it so fast. It takes me a while because it's so different than regular vinyl. So it's funny that we're opposite on that. How does my work schedule look? So um, <laughs> schedule, <laughs> I have always been one to try schedules and I always find myself working just different hours every day. Sometimes I work at night. Sometimes I try and work during the day. But really what I'll find myself doing is whenever I get time to do it, like when my kids are entertained or if they're busy, I'll work. If, you know, the youngest is taking a nap, I'll work. If they're in bed, I'll work. So it's really just kind of whenever, to be honest with you. And I've always wondered how many hours do I work in a day? I don't even know. I don't even know. And I told you guys that was a big thing I wanted to work on this year was um, working normal hours. But so 
sorry if you guys hear my dog barking. He hears like the wind blowing the wrong direction and he barks. Do you feel like the products you offer are true to your own style? Um, it's business, but I'm also more creative when I work in my own style. So Jesse, that's a really good question. So a lot of the stuff I offer is my own style, but then again, some things I offer will be things that I notice are kind of popular in the market. So um, I guess it really just depends. But I think that it's amazing if you do your own style, because like I was saying before, that's the reason people are choosing your shop is they like the style of your shop. So I would recommend doing your own thing. Go for your style. Maybe offer a few things here and there that are, you know, trending or popular. Um, one second, you guys. I heard the doorbell ring. It's late. What are people doing that coming at seven o'clock at night? I might need to go check on that. One second, guys. Okay, I'm back, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I just, it was late, but it was FedEx, which is late for them to come. But y'all heard my dog. He started bark barking like a whole minute before the doorbell even rung. So I swear he's like psychic or something. Somebody's coming. I better let my people know. So anyway, sorry, guys. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. I was like, who would be here? And I know it's not that late, but it's late for, I guess, UPS. So... I don't remember if I was even answering a question or not, but sorry. If, if I was, just ask me again. Oh, man. Okay, just wondering what transfer tape you're using. So I use um, R-Tape Clear Choice AT. I know it's a big one. Let me type it in the comments. It's R-Tape Clear Choice AT65. So, um, but yes, that is what I use and I get it at US Cutter. I get the large roll of it and I'm sorry if I missed your question. I'm trying to get better about like YouTube comments and all that stuff because there's so many sometimes in a day, even on old videos, I try, I really do. So I'm sorry if I missed your question. Um, can you import all your fonts to Illustrator? Yes, they actually automatically, as soon as you install those fonts, they're already in Illustrator. Because of you, I finally put my items in Etsy that I've had for four years. Oh, that's amazing, Chrissy. I got my first sale after two days. That is awesome. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. It only goes up from here. Just keep it up. Okay. Do I leave seasonal items up? I, some. Okay, so Christmas stuff I'll take down after Christmas because usually you can't find a lot of the stuff after the holidays. Other things like, um, I don't know, sometimes decals I'll leave up all year round. It just depends. But I'm thinking I'm going to start just taking those off when the season's over because there's just really no point. I even had, I've had people have been buying fall things from me here lately, which is kind of early for fall. But you know what? That's cool. That is cool because fall is my favorite time of the year. So is it a strong grip? Yes, it is a strong grip, but I don't think that it's so tacky to the point where you can't work with it. I've heard Cricut is like that. So I love the AT65 and every single decal person that I know that is like, you know, does it professionally recommends it as well. And I've tried others that I don't, and I don't like them as much. So, okay, let me go ahead and get my vinyl on the machine really quick, get that started. And then I'll answer a couple more questions. Um, I need to first, let's see. I need to, you'll see my poor, sad laptop, you guys. It's at the point now. I think it's time. I think it's, it's just done for. And I'm kind of sad about it because it's a really good laptop, but it'll just be sitting here and it'll just break. And I'm so terrified that one day it's going to, the screen 
cord that is literally right there is going to just pop and break. This is what happened to my daughter's computer that was the exact same laptop and it popped off just like that. And I'm terrified that that's going to happen to mine because I have my lifeline on here. I have like pictures, all of my work, all the SVG files I bought, everything. So probably need to work on getting all this stuff backed up because that would probably be pretty tragic. So anyways, let's see none. Okay, poly bags. Julie was talking about poly bags. So I suggest if you're going to offer, I don't know what you're going to be selling. What are you going to be selling? That's probably the best thing to ask first before I just start suggesting sizes for poly bags. Just let me know what your size or what your item is and what the size of it is. I want to start a decal shop, but I'm worried about shipping. What should I do? So Addison, shipping seems intimidating. It does, but it's really not as scary as you might think it is. I actually have, um, well, no, what is it? There was another video I have planned. I'm trying to think of what the whole title of it was going to be. It is basically going to be me explaining how you measure and weigh and um, get your items ready for shipment and how you figure that in more detailed shipping videos because I get a ton of questions about shipping. So that'll be coming. But decal shipping, really simple. They say you can ship it with a stamp, but I don't recommend doing that because I did that for a year. And y'all, that was a horror show. And I don't know if you guys remember, I've talked about this in the past. I shipped decals back in the day. I tried the whole free shipping with a stamp. That was the first time in history of my shop that I had cases opened against me. I had bad reviews. I had just, it was awful because when you ship with a stamp, things get lost constantly. And you don't know it really until you do it and see how much it happens. But basically there's no tracking and, and it takes sometimes two to three weeks for your um, thing to get there, depending on where it's going. So it is not worth it. It might be free to know, you know your people, but it is not worth it. My customers do not mind, mind paying the $3 and change for shipping to have peace of mind. But you guys, it tore my nerves up so bad. I was so upset. I thought this is the end of my career <laughs> um, because it was just so bad. Like people were so impatient and you'll notice too, the type of people that buy from your shop. And I'm not trying to be like those kind of people, but the type of people that are attracted to the whole free shipping, you'll attract a whole group of people that you don't want as customers because they are like the type of people I dealt with at least were demanding. They wanted it now. They wanted where was their product? Where, 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 you know, just constant complaining. And now I hardly ever knock on wood deal with that kind of thing. So anyways, went off topic again, because that's what I do here. <laughs> but um, does Frugal Sally have a favorite drink? What do you guys think? Do y'all think that I'm a Starbucks drinker? Do y'all think that I go out for coffee or do you guys think that I just make my coffee? Answer in the comments because I'm I'm anxious. I'm curious to know what do you guys think about Sally? Does she go out and buy coffee or does she go out and make coffee? Interested to hear. Y'all answer that and then I'll answer you, Cassie. <clears throat> Natalie, vinyl, I haven't noticed hardly any fading with my vinyl in the sun. Oracle is a really good brand. So I think it might maybe some over the years, but I haven't noticed anything. Hi, Lisa. And hey, Burt's Boutique. I'm Morgan Burt on your Facebook group. Oh, I'm, yes, I, I recognize the names from my Facebook group, group when you guys connect me and tell me who you are. Okay, here we go. Make coffee, make coffee, make coffee, make coffee, make coffee. <laughs> it's everyone said you make it. Oh my gosh, did anybody say buy it? Let's see, both, make it, make it. You make it because you like to cook, you make your own. Well, you guys are wrong. I'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I really do. I've never been to Starbucks. I know, I know, I have never been. And it's not because I don't want to buy it. It's just, I just never been before. 
I know it's kind of crazy. Everyone that I've talked to and I've said that to, they're like, oh, you've never had Starbucks before, but I really haven't. I just, I like to wake up and have my coffee right away. I don't like to wait and I just make it myself. And I got all the stuff I need to make the fancy drinks if I want to make the fancy drinks. Never. Nope. I have never gotten not even one drink, nothing from Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks plus Target shopping. I want to experience it at least one time, but you guys might get me addicted to it. What happens then? And then all my money is going to go to coffee. <laughs> no, I'm too frugal, frugal for that. But um, yes, let's see. Do you think Etsy is too saturated or everyone should give it a go? So that's a great question. Etsy is saturated, but you know what? Nobody, there is only one you. Does that make sense? You are your own person. You have your own spin on things. You have your own creative talent that nobody else has. So while there's a million other Etsy shops that has sell vinyl decals, I still get sales. While there's a million other shops that sell wood signs, I still get sales. So the whole point of it is, is just to give it a try. And why not? Because you never know what can happen unless you try it. So that's what I always have to say about it. You do your shop and make your own spin on everything you do. Make it your personality. Make it your shop and people will come if they like your style and they like the way that your shop is they're going to buy things from you and if you put work into it i say if you put work into anything it will pay off but you have to put work into it you can't give up you can't walk away you can't just get lazy with it you have to just work at it that is really what success that's where success comes from is hard work and um, talent so you got this You have that fancy ninja machine. Yes, Wendy, I got it for Christmas because I needed it. Y'all saw my old, if you guys are like OGs, y'all know my old coffee, Mr. Coffee Maker. <laughs> but hey, that thing made good coffee. But yes, we got the ninja for Christmas and it is really good. It is really honestly, it makes some good coffee. What is my favorite? If someone asked what is my favorite way to make it. So I really just like plain coffee with sugar and milk. That is how I like to drink my coffee. You don't get caribou either. I don't know what that is, Marissa. Caribou, is that a type of coffee? Yes, Lou. Finding a way to stand out is the trick. Really, you know, that's so funny that you say that, Iris, because I don't advertise my shop on here, but you guys find me. I don't link it or anything like that, but I think you guys just find the shop. And the reason I don't link it is because it does, and I'm not trying to make you guys not go and look at my shop if you want to, but it can kind of mess with your conversion rate if a ton of people are going on your shop and just looking at it and they're not like favoriting or liking or um buying anything from it but thank you so much for buying something for me that is so cool i um always let me know if you guys are from youtube because i might throw in a little something or something you never know um sometimes i get really busy and i forget but if you guys are like my people i'm gonna hook y'all up <laughs> you're not missing much <laughs> Okay, what decal vinyl do you recommend for decals? So Linda, Oracle 651 is great for permanent decals. And I've heard a lot, a lot, a lot of good things about StarCraft HD, which, spoiler alert, it is coming in a video soon. I'm going to be testing it out. Not going to go into too much details, but exciting things coming. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, let's see. That's my hubby, too. Oh, it's a coffee shop. I don't know if we have one around here, Marissa. Maybe they, we do, and I just don't know about it. Cafe Bustella. I, my husband used to drink that a lot. So what cutting machine do I use? I use a Silhouette Cameo. And you guys, I have to update you guys. Does anyone want an update on the Silhouette Pro? 
I'm disappointed y'all because I still haven't called Silhouette, which by the way, I'm going to, but they have some explaining to do because my husband finally looked at it and it is a design flaw. You know, all of y'all on there who've got the pro and are having the same issues as me where it is not cutting straight. It is making the vinyl just go all over the place for matless cutting. It is not designed correctly. And I, at least this is what I think. And my husband thinks the bar is not low enough. Y'all know the big metal bar that is in the middle. It doesn't even touch your vinyl at all in the middle. So the two sides are clamped down, but the bar is too high above your vinyl to where the vinyl easily can get go all off. And I don't know if it is just a few of the machines because some people haven't had problems, but my I've been having issues with it and other people have been having issues with it. Jill, have you been having problems with your pro? But my husband looked at it and the way that it was designed seems like there was something not right. So I'm going to call and I'm going to ask if there's anything that can be done to fix it. But I have literally tried everything, y'all. I've tried all the suggestions you guys have given me. I've tried putting the thing in the roller to make it tighter and it does work, but it doesn't stay working for me. One thing I did notice that worked, and this is how I figured out what the problem was, is if you push down on the bar while it's cutting and it go, it would it cut the whole thing perfect. You know, Natalie, that's a good question. That's what I'm wondering. But see, another couple people have said their bar doesn't touch the vinyl too. I'm going to call. But anyways, I just wanted to update y'all that I won't make this whole thing about silhouette because I love my silhouettes. You guys, I'm a silhouette fan, but the pro, I don't know y'all the pro. It disappointed me. I'm not going to lie. At least it has so far. And y'all know I'm real with you guys. I don't sugarcoat anything. Um, so I just have to see how it goes. So we're going to start with black vinyl. If I can find my scissors. Where are my scissors? Over there. That's what I'm thinking too. Vinyl holders, Jania, back here are from Dollar Tree. They are the plate racks. And I just screwed them into the wall. Well, not screwed. I used the monkey hooks to put them in the wall. Yes, Kathy. I use Aura Mask 813. It is expensive, but it works really, really well. And if you get big rolls of it, it honestly isn't that much more than regular vinyl. Because I calculated it, and it's only slightly more if you get big rolls of it. But just get it on, on get it at U.S. Cutter. not the pro which cameo do you recommend I love the silhouettes all of them so the two the three the four is great the pro is a, is a new thing they just came out with I just feel like they just rushed it out and I could be wrong I could be doing something maybe my machine's flawed maybe I don't know um how wide do you cut with the pro you can cut 24 inches wide by 80 feet long. What is the difference of removable and permanent? So removable is less, I guess, less tacky. I don't know. It just, it's able to be removed. And then the permanent is there. Once it's there, you're going to ruin. <laughs> if you put it on a wall, you'd ruin your wall. Um, it's just more tacky, I guess. I, I don't really know. It's just permanent and not permanent. Tabitha, really? Have you cut matless on yours too? Does it have the same problem or are you having no issues? Um, Beth, you have to reuse. I'm sorry. You have to re uh, do a whole new stencil every time with the Aura Mask because it is not able to be reused. Um. I'm always on the floor, you guys. I live my life on the floor. Okay. Um, 
we have a cutting mat and we have 24 inch and those of you who don't know you can use cricket mats with your silhouette which is pretty cool cricket mats are cheaper than silhouette mats okay so that's ready oh i didn't even plug it up to my computer i'm so dumb Ugh. i was sitting here pushing send and i was like what is going on it's so funny you guys because like now that i design svgs i still use ones that i purchased in the past and i see now the quality of some of the svgs i bought are awful because some of them I have to go through all of these steps to get them to cut. Crap, I just I have it set to auto blade and I don't have an auto blade in there. Okay. All right, you can stop now. <laughs> it's just sitting there going off. All right, cancel job. Yes. So, yes. But anyways, some of the SVGs, I'll have to, like, go extra steps to get it to cut. And I always thought that was normal for some things. But no. That means it was not drawn correctly or it was not welded or whatever else. Okay. We're better now. We got it all set up. Um, I know connection was lost. I know. Send. We're good. Okay. I've not had any issues, only cut a few times. Yeah, it's time with the cut matless and just let me know. Is the Cameo 4 Plus that cuts 15? Yes, the Plus is the 15 inch Cameo. I found with the Pro, I have to use larger rolls, and the weight of the roll helps keep the vinyl straight. If you have a smaller piece of vinyl, low amount, it goes everywhere. See, Jill, that, I feel like that is, like, such a bad, I don't know. My vinyl is on such a big roll, I couldn't load that up in the machine. I, there's no way. I have these giant rolls that are so thick, so I just cut off what I need. So that's not going to work for me. Oh, thanks, Morgan. I always call my, I, mean, I just call myself names. I'm always making fun of myself. Yes. Yeah, I got that cutting. Uh, do you offer both the permanent and removable? Linda, I only do the permanent at this time. I've been asked by a lot of people if I do wall decals, and I just don't at this time. So maybe one day. I just don't know what I would even sell. Are wall decals even popular still? I know back when I first got married, they were like in everyone's house. So I don't know yet. Did I make my shirt? Yes, I did. I made it from sublimation. So it's, I really am happy with the results. I think they're turning out so great. I've been playing around with my press and learning how you get the brightest prints, what you can do to not get the brightest prints. And I realized that the first few shirts I pressed were not as vibrant and then I was like, I'm going to turn up my heat a little bit and play with my settings. And I got it perfect. Not perfect, but I got it just right. Do you use those attachment pieces to hold the vinyl up like the roller and the middle piece attachments? Yes. I was using all the things that it came with. Yeah, Renee, that's what I've noticed. That's what I thought, too, about wall decals. Natalie, I'll have to go check. Um, I don't remember. I've had all of my fonts on there. I made all of my designs so long ago. I'll have to go back and look. I know that Lou and Rebecca, which is a new world, they did a video recently on 
oh gosh, Esther, always machine always stops when I'm talking. I feel like I eat all of you guys. Um, they did a video recently on putting can their Canva designs into their Dymo to make a label. So I think that you can do it in various ways. Um, I can't remember about the fonts though. Are they not already in there? I feel like they were already loaded in. Like when you um, first open the software, if it, is it not already in the system? That's cute. Now, see, I like the wall decals that people do for bedrooms, like the dots and stuff. That's cute. I do think that's cute, for especially little babies' rooms. Which do I prefer, vinyl or sub? So that's a great question. I prefer both. I For shirts, sublimation, hands down. Hands down, because it's smooth. It's in the fibers of the shirt. So it's your quality is going to last way longer than a vinyl shirt would last you. But for wood signs and decals, vinyl still my number one baby. But for shirts and cups, mugs and stuff like that, I think sublimation is going to take the win. And as y'all can see, I, the reason I did sublimation is because I've always wanted a shirt line or more options other than just the signs and stuff because I like to do it all. I like to do everything I can possibly do. I get like, what is it called? Where you just want to do so many different things at once. But the thing is, is they all kind of intertwine together because they're all personalized. So that's why I like doing like a little bit of both. But yes, shirts, hands down, sublimation. Yeah, Natalie, they should be. But I'll check tonight and I'll let you know. Are you in the Facebook group? I feel like you are. Maybe you're not. I feel like we have a Natalie in there. Oh, my anniversary and birthday are both in July. So I'm thinking about getting a sublimation printer. And then I'll have to go back and watch your video where you unpacked your printer. Oh, yeah, you definitely, you won't regret it, Shirley. You will not regret it. Wendy, is your name Wendy? Is that right, Wendy? Wendy? I have heard that from some people, but from what my experience with it is, and I know everybody has different experiences, is it all matters about your wood, how dry it is. And a lot of people don't put the polycrylic on after they stain like I do. Uh, some people, what they'll do is they, this is what I used to do. And this is when I noticed it would pull up. I would stain, wait for it to dry, put my um, stencil on immediately, paint remove and I always had um, my wood peeling up so the trick to that is and it, it really is the reason I, I from at least my experience if you put polycrylic on after your sign has officially cured then it gives that extra base on your wood for your stencil to never it, it can't pull the um, the wood grain up does that make sense so polycrylic is the like the best thing ever. And, and honestly, it really does make a difference on my signs. And this it was right here. This is what it is. I use the water-based clear semi-gloss. And you guys know I like semi-gloss for a lot of my bases and things like that because it gives more of a protective coat, I feel like, than the flat does. Did I have to do anything to convert? I'm guessing you're talking about the sublimation. So no, you don't have to do anything. The only difference is, is instead of putting your regular ink in that comes with your machine, you put in um, the sublimation ink. That is how you convert it. So it's not really a conversion like the workforce printers are. Someone was selling ink for your sub printer super cheap and almost got it for you. Oh, you're so cute. Did you have to do anything to convert? Oh, yeah, I just answered that. Um, okay. I've learned that I have to make sure it's totally dry first. Oh, I forgot to check my blade. So let's see if this cut turned out good. I'm going to do the Band-Aid band rip on this one because it's a tiny, tiny little... Um, I cannot talk tonight. What is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> pineapple. It's a tiny pineapple. So here we go. One, two, three, pew. Oh, it did. It left one piece, but looks like my settings are good. I just have to get that one little piece off. 
Isn't it funny that ripping it quick gives you a better result than ripping it slow? Where is my... Oh, you've been, Stars Above Art, you've been doing the wood. You need to um, let me know how that's been going. I really want to do the sublimation on wood. Let me know how that goes for you. Because I've heard, you know, you can use the polycrylic. But does that, do the fumes, are they not like toxic? I don't know. I could be looking way too far into it. But, you know, like if you heat it up on your heat press, right? Is it not let a bunch of chemicals in the air? So stain polycrylic stencil, yes. And then I do another coat of poly at the very end. Yes, Linda, you can do sublimation on anything that has polyester. How long do I cure? I cure the signs. The first coat, I do it for usually, I don't know, polycrylic dries really fast. I'll give it maybe like a good hour-ish or more. The longer, the better. Some days I'll do it overnight, but at least an hour. Dry to the touch is fine. Polycrylic is like super fast drying, the water-based. Yes, Natalie, it's stain, poly, stencil, then poly. No, wait, hold on, poly, just the letters. Yes, you poly over the stencil, and then you paint, and then remove. Yes, you got it right. Hi, Katie from Wisconsin. You've never seen the Band-Aid method, Tabitha? I'll have to do it again. I have a lot of some. Gosh, why do I keep saying sunflowers? I have a lot of pineapples to do tonight, so I'll do them all. One time, I had an order of 500, I think. It was 500 or maybe it was even 800 of the two-inch pineapples. Five to 800 of them. So I did the Band-Aid method for all of them. And my hands were sore after doing that many. The stickiness, oh, is it really sticky? Well, we'll learn together. Because I definitely want to do the wood for sure. I just found you. I don't know if you'll see this, but I wanted to start my own Etsy shop, but I'm scared that no one will buy anything. Were you scared when you first started? Oh, Jenny, it's okay. Don't be scared. Did, are you on my Facebook group? Because that is so funny you say that because I just made a post today talking about something like, well, not talking. It was a, like a, one of those memes. I'll have to read it word for word because I'm not good at remembering. But it said... speech bubbles and it says what if something goes wrong and then the other bubble says okay but what if everything goes right so that's the thing that you know you don't have to ever worry about something until you've given it you know a chance to try it out because you really could it could be the best thing that ever happened and honestly what is there to lose because Etsy's what 20 cents to start and I even have a link down below for free 40 free listings for new shops so it can be free to start your Etsy shop. Um, so really just go for it and just give it your all work hard and you got it. You can make it happen and make it work with hard work and just I say just go for it. So y'all don't be scared. Hey, Debbie. Facebook group is called Simply Sally DIY. I have it linked if you go to the description of this video. I think it's under social and I have our, join the Facebook group. So check it out. Just got your Cameo 4 Pro. Awesome. Let me know how that goes for you. I've been having a few issues with mine, but I don't know if I got a defective one. I'm going to reach out with y'all. I hope my warranty isn't voided at this point because it's been so long. I got it like months ago. Bye, Liz. Thank you for coming on. Don't be discouraged. I love HTV is still super popular, Anastasia. 
Uh, it's just a whole, it's just different. They're two different things, but honestly, people, some people prefer HTV over. I don't mind them at all. I just don't know a lot about it. Um, I do HTV on a ton of things that I make my popsicle koozies with HTV. You have so much that you can do with that. So don't, don't ever think that you've made a wrong decision. Um, and one day, if you want to get a sublimation printer, you have all of the options then. So just start it off and just try it. You might like it better. Now I'm working on white vinyl. I didn't have much black, to be honest. It's crazy. I normally have a ton of black that I do every, every um, week, but not this week. Yes, Katie, I have that coming. I know I keep saying I have it coming, but that is in the works. That's in my video idea list, taking Etsy photo pictures. I'm going to do a whole one about like how I make, take my mock-up photos, how I edit pictures, how I get my pictures up on Etsy, all that. That's going to be a whole video coming soon. You guys, I have a whole list of video ideas. and I don't even know which ones to do first. What are you guys most excited to see? Like, what do you love watching on, on um, YouTube? Or what do you want from me? What are you most excited about? I have a taxes, oh, taxes. I hate taxes. I have a taxes video coming. I have sublimation videos coming. I have more tutorials. I have a spring wood sign, do a whole multicolor fun spring wood sign video. I think I'm gonna do that this week. Um, that one's coming. And then how to take your Etsy photos. What do you guys want to see? Did you make the shirt you're wearing? Yes, I did. I just, it's turned out really well. These white shirts are so vibrant because they're 100% polyester. The colored shirts are 65% polyester. Business stuff like Etsy. Yes, I'll have plenty of that. Jenny B Beauty, it is sublimation is basically where you have a special printer with special ink. Well, it's not a special printer. Mine's not. Mine's a regular printer, but I have um, sublimation ink in the printer and it prints out designs on a special paper. How many times am I going to say special? <laughs> and you take that paper and you apply heat to it, which in you know situations you should use a heat press. You apply heat to it and it sublimates into the shirt. So this is now in the fibers of the shirt. So every time you wash it, this one's already been washed three times and it's still super vibrant. So it is really, I, I love it. I, I think it's really cool. And it's all done with PNG files too. So love day in the life. Oh, thank you. Yes, taxes would be great. Take good photos, wood sign tutorials, watching me work. Shipping taxes, Etsy photos, any tips on making really small curly monograms, like two or three inches. Oh, yes. I, I know the feeling because I don't like small decals. Oh, they're so tedious to weed. But yes, tips, and I was just doing a minute ago, is the Band-Aid method. Ripping it off really fast sometimes is a great way to weed. Um, sometimes cutting your vinyl, slowing it down a little bit helps using, I've heard there's a blade that a lot of people are using, the CB, I don't want to butcher this, CB09 blade, is that what it's called? Um, I'm honestly not sure though. I don't cut anything too, too small because I kind of stay away from that. But the Band-Aid method definitely helps for weeding at least. Okay, white is ready. Etsy ads, okay. Okay, how to build the website. Kathy, are you talking about like my Wix website or are you talking about Etsy website? Oh, thanks, Jenny B Beauty. I'm guessing your name's Jenny, so I guess I'll call you Jenny if that's your name. Oh yes, that's another thing I'm working on, calculating your prices. Decals. 
<laughs> Thanks, Shayna. Yeah, make sure to hit the video, hit the hit the video, hit the thumbs up button if you like it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Y'all, we hit fourteen thousand subscribers. I cannot believe it. When I saw that it hit fourteen thousand, I was like, I cannot believe that many people watch Crazy Me. Like, like honestly, I never, ever, ever thought it would grow beyond even just having. I thought in the beginning that this was just going to be me growing my business, my Etsy shop, that maybe I would give these videos to my customers for help with their decals. I never thought it would become this entire community uh, full of these amazing people. And I consider you guys like my friends for real. I have made some serious, like real friends on this and you guys are just amazing. So thank you. And I have that video, which is so funny. It was the 10,000 subscriber video giveaway, but now it's going to be like 10 to 15,000 subscriber giveaway. But I have some fun things. I have ideas. I'll give you a little sneak peek, but I have an idea of either I was going to put together like a bunch of products of things that you guys might like, maybe from around here or maybe like um, for your business you could use. So things that any really any kind of crafty person would like. It won't be just one specific thing. That's going to be one of the gifts. And then a couple other things, maybe some coaching calls. And I say coaching calls, but maybe like one-on-one -on -one talks where I can help you with whatever you want. Just me and you talking one-on-one. -on -one. Those are going to be a couple things I'm going to be giving away for the giveaway. So if you guys are interested in that, keep an eye on that video coming soon. I think I'm going to do like three different prizes. And um, we're going to be doing that here really soon because I want to give back to you guys. I'm really excited about that. Let me go ahead and cut the white. Did I get my pro from Swing? I got it from Michaels, actually, Jill. Let me go ahead and cut this um, white real quick. I'm so happy I found your channel trying to get all my Etsy stuff together. Oh, thank you so much, Danny. And you got this. You got you gonna get your shop, get all your Etsy stuff together. That's amazing. What am I doing? Okay, I need to flip this. That's a good idea, Natalie. So how many of you have an Etsy shop or are wanting to start an Etsy but haven't done it yet? So how many of you have an Etsy shop already? And then how many of you do not have an Etsy shop yet? Or even just a shop in general. It doesn't have to be Etsy because there's, I guess, other platforms and places that people can sell. Okay. I'm surprised that vinyl weed is so good because I didn't even turn up my cut on uh, my blade like I usually do. Okay. So it looks like we got have one, have one, no shop. Just started. No shop. No Etsy shop. Wow, that's actually interesting. That was a good question, Natalie, because I've never really asked that. I have one, but not products on, only two. Yeah, Shirley, they're actually really hard to find. You have to kind of look, look out for them. Oh, thanks, Jill. That is so sweet of you to say. Thank you, Brooks Babies 08. I've been running an Amazon business for seven years. Wow. So you have the whole other side of things where Amazon is like a whole nother world, I think. Cassie, how do you like Shopify? I have Wix. I've always wondered, I know a lot of people say they like Shopify. I wonder how it differs from Wix. 
I know Wix is really easy to set up. It's really simple to work through. Um, I reserved the shop name. That's about it. I'm thinking about Etsy. Etsy says 2016. Well, Renee, me and you are both 2016 Etsy peeps, huh? <laughs> I started in 2016 too. I think it was like the middle. I thought it was the beginning of the year, but I actually went back and looked and I didn't, I think I started it in April, 2016. I have one, but I don't think I'm doing the SEO thing right. Um, you have an Etsy shop, you're saying, Jim, Jimmy? The SEO, it can be tricky, but it does take a while to get in the system into Etsy's algorithm. So just be patient and just keep trying and improving something new every single time and just give it time to work. I think how I learned on SEO is I studied a lot of other shops. Like I went and looked at other shops in my kind of category and saw how do they title their stuff? What kind of words do they include in their descriptions? Now, don't you know, you don't copy, obviously, but you learn like the big time shops, the ones that are doing super well. How do they do their whole SEO? And you can you can see a lot from just reading someone's description and looking at their tags and titles. And I think back in the day, you used to be able to see their tags. I feel like you would scroll down to the bottom of Etsy's page and you used to be able to see what tags they use. But um now I think it's a little more complicated now, but oh yeah, congratulations, Isaac. That's amazing. Well, I do shadow boxes. Yeah, oh, I rem I did see your shadow box, Lady C. I'm pretty sure I did. Hey Rebecca. Oh, I know work. Did you just get off work? You're saying 40 minutes late. Okay, so we got white cut in the background. I got some of my black we did. Didn't have too much. I have a large decal that I'm going to be packaging up. And you guys, if you've seen that video where I package up large decals, um, check it out because it's really helpful in shipping anything over anything that big. I like to ship in a box. Just roll it up and ship it first class in a box. Oh, really, Kim? I guess it's not for everyone. I am wanting to start an Etsy shop, but I'm afraid. I don't know if it's a good option. What can you recommend? Okay, so what are you selling or wanting to sell on Etsy, Jocelyn? Yeah, Renee, I agree. If you're selling something that a lot of others are selling, it is a good idea to just have your own something. Hey, at home with Jenny. Hope you had a good day at work. Got off at seven. Oh no, Rebecca. I'm so sorry. Okay. Did you set up an LLC in addition to the South Carolina retail license? Yes, I had to do both. Should I legally start a business? I don't want to have to worry about taxes. So Addison, I'm, I know that I, I know you said you, how, how old you were. I honestly am not a hundred thousand percent sure about the age and si setting up a business. I don't know if you might be able to do it at your age. I would definitely call your local secretary of state. That's what the, they're called and ask them. And you can also call the IRS in your state and they can help you kind of, you could just tell them your situation and say, how do I go about doing this? You might have to do it somehow under your parents' information. I'm not 100% sure on that. If any of you tax people down there know how a young person would start a business, I'm honestly not sure how that works legally. Let me know how those ads go, Jenny. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, Jocelyn, you definitely should go for it. I mean, that's a great variety of things that you could sell for sure. So I would just post it all. Just go go for it. Just make sure you do your research on SEO. Yes, Kim, it's stain poly stencil, poly 
paint, remove stencil, and then poly. Yes, I know it sounds like a lot. <laughs> Linda, you add the tags when you're creating your listing on Etsy. So there's a whole area to put your tags when you're doing your setting up of your listing. Um, super easy. I know it seems difficult, but basically your tags are all just common phrases that people would search to find that particular product. So if it's a blue hat, you'll have in your tag, blue hat, hat. Um, women's hat, men's hat, whatever somebody would search to find that particular hat, put it in your in your tags. Frank, yes, I have a DBA, but I also have a LLC. I have an LLC, but I changed my name. Um, not legally, but I changed it with a DBA. So, and in South Carolina, you don't have to register DBAs. You just have a DBA. It's so confusing. Yeah, yes, I poly over the stencil to be able to um, keep the paint from bleeding onto the wood. Yeah, you can pretty much use any wood for your projects as long as it is um, smooth enough to be able to put a stencil on. You can pretty much use anything. Orange Panda Designs, yeah, for sure. You should go for it. It's never too late. So, Renee, I have an LLC. So, that's my business, and it's under Sally's Southern Stitches. That's my business name. And I've told you guys this. I didn't like the name because I don't sew anymore. And that's kind of what my whole name revolved around, which I don't recommend doing that, you guys. <laughs> um, but I... Wanted to change my name, so I was going to do a whole nother business, and it was going to be so much work to go through all the paperwork. So they recommended me to just do a DBA, which is doing business as. So my name is Sally Southern Stitches, DBA Simply Sally. So that's doing business as Simply Sally. So all of my forms, all of my documents, all of my bank stuff is under Sally's Southern Stitches. I hate the name. Back then, I thought it was cute and Southern and just perfect for what I was doing, but regretted it when I started doing all these other things. So that is why I have a DBA under my business name. So technically, Simply Sally is not my business name. Sally's Southern Stitches is my business name. <laughs> Addison, I wouldn't worry about that. You know, trying it out and seeing if it works for you is great. Once you start making a good amount of money, um, then I would probably, well, any, actually, you should probably just go ahead and just call and just see if what you need to do legally. Um, you're not going to get in trouble, though. I, 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 don't, I couldn't imagine unless you're making it's like a ton of money and just not claiming it with your taxes at the end of the year. Cause once you make $10,000 a year on Etsy, you have to pay taxes on it through the IRS. So they'll send you a 1099 form and you have to pay taxes on that. So what you're doing in the beginning, trying it out. I actually recommend that if you're not sure you're even wanting to do a business, don't go out and just spend a whole bunch of money on starting a business and do it all. If you're not hundred percent sure, go try it out. If you start making some money, then it would not hurt to get a business license. I actually recommend that because I started off with just a business because I was scared to do it without having all my legal stuff in order. So I went ahead and before I even sold anything on Etsy, I had my business legal and everything like that. But back in the day when I was just selling to friends and family, I did not have a business license. This was in the very beginning. and I didn't make much money. It was just like a little bit here and there. And in South Carolina, our law is is if you're not making anything over, if you're making $600 a year or less, you do not have to pay taxes on it in our state. So that's how the law was then. And I don't know what it is in your state, but don't worry or stress about it. Um, just call. It doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, Lady C, it is complicated, but honestly, I think it's pretty low fees and things compared to other states because I've heard LLCs can be super expensive every year in other states, but here you pay one time and you're done. And it's only what? I think it was like $170. 
Oh, maybe it is 20,000. You could be right. I don't remember if it was 10,000 or 20,000. I thought it was 10K though. But yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, Lady C, I actually love, I love Charleston. We haven't been there in so many years, but it's such a beautiful city. My brother actually used to live there. We used to go up there on vacations to see him. And um, yeah, it's a really nice, nice place. Such a historic town. So, Cynthia, when you have your business, you can do a ton of different things under your business name. So, my YouTube name or business name, Simply Sally DIY, is under Simply Sa or Sally Southern Stitches. So, when you have your business, you can do multiple different things under your business. As long as you're paying taxes on the money you're making, they don't care what you call it. I mean, you don't even have to have your business name in your Etsy at all like that doesn't matter at all your Etsy, as long as your official paperwork so like your bank account your um when you're filing your taxes all of the official stuff needs to be under your business name legally but like the etsy shop name does not have to be your business name your youtube name does not have to be your business name so if that's what you're asking you don't have to have it under your official name at all I'm interested in selling decals. I'd like to get an idea of how much shipping is per package. So that's a good question. So it is usually around, I'd say maybe like, I don't know, maybe two, I don't even know if it's that low anymore, 280-ish to 325. Sometimes they can go up, but I never really have it over that. Um, I would, I, I price mine right now at $3.20, but that is because I ship with I include a lot of stuff in there so I usually break about even with my shipping I don't make any profit I think it all kind of evens out so that's kind of how I do things I figure up some of my shipping prices in my decal pricing but I'm going to get more into that in a video soon okay sorry guys I'm weeding something super detailed and um, I'm not a very good multitasker when I'm trying to think. Okay, got it. The, what are these called? These daisies are the most <laughs> annoying to weed, but they're like one of the most popular decals I offer. Yeah, see, Anissa, I think it's different everywhere. Um, in Georgia, they charge. They don't charge us here in South Carolina. But <laughs> doesn't mean you don't got to pay a bunch of money in taxes at the end of the year or quarterly, however you have it set up. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, it's mom mode all day, every day, mom all day, every day. <laughs> That's me. Price to shop. Signs. Signs are different. Oh gosh, they're so different. I could have the same size sign be $8 in one town and be $30 in another town. You never know what you're going to get unless just depending on where it's going to. But honestly, it really does even out. I charge, you know, if they spend over 35, shipping is free. But when you calculate when you charge or figure that pricing in with your wood sign. So I do have shipping calculated. It all evens out. So there are some people that pay a little bit less and you have a little bit of overhead, you know, a little bit of money left over. And then there's customers that spend more. It all kind of levels out, at least in my opinion, or that's how it's gone for me. But selling a small decal for five ninety nine after cost, is there any money to be made? So Stephanie, it's one of, or Steph, it's one of those things. It's just one of those little things in your shop that doesn't make you a whole lot of money. But the profit margin in decals is high because vinyl is super, super cheap. 
So you might be making just pennies on that tiny decal, but the thing is, there are people out there that buy entire sets of decals for me from me, and you're gonna get 30 or 40 or 50 dollars for that one order. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, you might have one person that spends three dollars on a decal and then they spend another three on shipping and you only make maybe two dollars or something from that that's one of those little things it brings people to your shop it helps keep your shop in the algorithm keeps it going it's just one of those kind of cheap things that you could add to your shop i would not if you're going to do decals i would definitely recommend doing a ton of like sets and options for people like say i do free shipping if you spend this much so people are like, oh, gosh, I'm going to spend that much so I can get free shipping. And there you go. You make your money back. You make a little bit of profit. Um, so that's kind of what I think about it. Can I show the Band-Aid method? Sure. I think I'm almost to my um, – I'm weeding just regular – oh, gosh, I can't even see that. I'm doing um, names and labels right now. I'm almost to my Band-Aid method, but I will definitely show you guys. For your home sign, is that one inch thick? Yes, it is, Robin. Can you share or say how much you make your tag, how you make your tag for wood signs? So how I make my tag, oh, tag tags like in the um, Etsy shop? Is that what you're talking about, Anastasia? I thought you were talking about clothing tags for a second. I have not tried Pirate Ship, Dawn. I'm wanting to try it just to kind of see but I only use Etsy labels right now. Lou, I was wondering if you were still here to answer because you had a very good explanation for that. Those small sales stack and make your shop look larger and more reputable. So there you go, you're getting more. You're getting all those sales. And honestly, guys, I don't get as many decal sales really as I get for, I don't know. I say I don't, but... If you think of in terms of how many decals I sell, I sell a lot. But wood signs are my money makers and vinyl decal sets are my money makers. But little things like those little, these, I don't make any money off of these. Not really. I mean, a couple dollars. But, you know, that was actually my best seller at one point. Those pineapples, they were the best seller. So I was making hundreds of those a week. Does Etsy always charge sales tax? So I think they have a lot of that figured up. I know South Carolina has now become one of those states that they pay for our sales taxes now. But um, they do do all of that for you, which is one thing I love about Etsy, that they take care of sales taxes for the different states that you buy from. If you have your own business, you do have to worry about sales taxes when it comes. I heard, though, you have to ship a ton of things to certain states to even have to worry about taxes. None of us small business owners are going to ever have to worry about that. But Etsy does take care of sales taxes, but not for your particular state, unless you're one of those states that they remit for you, which they do for our state now. It used to not be like that, though. I used to have to go in there and pay sales taxes but now they remit it for us. It's so funny. This last year was actually the first year that I had hardly any South Carolina sales. All of my sales are not local. I don't sell anything locally, really. Um, Lady C, I... Used to buy them, but now I'm starting to make all of them. But I still sell in my shop a ton of different designs from other shops. So um, I do love to make them myself, though. I really want to create cake and cupcake toppers and watch how to do videos. That's really cool. That's a great market to get in. Hey, Queen Loyal. Definitely. I'm happy to help. What's the question you got? Oh, hey, Z, I'm glad you're here, too. Yeah, stars above art, I agree. Let 
you don't they're not like a huge money maker but it does make it worth it i i think with how many you sell and how quick you can make them hey brenda thank you z okay done with white now let's move on to the next color we'll see what we got here oh <sighs> So we got stencils. I need to cut some stencils. And then I have some holographic vinyl, some mint. We'll go ahead and do mint since I have a few. Those of you who have a Cricut, do you guys have where you can make the color options on your, like on the silhouette, you can design all of the things you're going to cut. Can you put the colors on there on Cricut or do you have to just remember what colors you have to cut? Does that make sense? Like with Silhouette, I can go in there and change colors of all the things I'm going to cut. I didn't know if Cricut was like that. You can put the colors. Okay, cool. You know, guys, I've been thinking, I don't know for sure, but one day I might get a Cricut just to see the difference so I can actually help those of you who have the Cricut and those of you who have the Silhouette, one day I might do that. I don't know, y'all. I'm not saying I'm going to ever convert to Cricut because I love my Silhouettes and I don't think I could ever go both ways, but I'm, I always get questions on Cricut, like my Cricut folks that I have on my group and stuff. And I would love to be able to have knowledge of both machines. So one day, one day, if I just have the money to just throw into a Cricut, I might do that one day. You never know. But I would love to be able to help out all different types of people. And I just have like no knowledge on the Cricut. So... Okay, we have mint, yellow, and green. Mint, yellow, and green. <sighs> I'm getting better about using all my vinyl scraps, you guys. Sally, is it true that you have to pay to get customers to your website? Are you talking about for Wix, Queen Loyal? So... If or not Wix, I'm sorry. If you have your own website, you do have to pay advertising usually unless you have a client base. So you have to pay to advertise, but you don't pay customers to come to your website. Is that what you mean? But you do have to put in money to your ads for sure. Oh, really? <laughs> Best price on Cricut. I have the Explorer just bought the Maker. Oh, y'all, I don't think I can get it right now. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> so do you keep all of your Etsy decal designs in one file and work from there? So yes, I have designs in a bunch of different files. I have them organized, organized by just different holidays and different things. So I'm able to go on there and um, get what designs I need. And then orders, I do save a year's worth of orders at a time. So I will go on my silhouette and I will name, name them whatever week I'm working on. So a whole week's worth of orders are going to be on one um, studio page. And I will save them for a year. And I do have some like repeat customers that get the same design over and over again that I may have custom made for them. So I'll save stuff like that forever. But... Thank you, Mark. Well, I'm glad you got to come in, even if it was just for a little bit. I appreciate it. And thank you. I'm so thankful to all of you guys. Couldn't have done it without all of y'all for sure. So it depends. I hope I'm saying I'm going I'm to highlight your comment. OK, so went to UPS website to calculate first class. So, yes, they charge more than it will cost on Etsy. Etsy does give you a discount. Um, and it depends how much your weight is. How much are you doing for a decal or something like that? Because usually a decal is between two ounces. And at the most I've ever seen is like four ounces. So um, it really depends. But USPS website is going to cost more for sure than Etsy. So that's what I wanted to mention to you. I, I want to say your name, Cora, Correo, Correo. So definitely Etsy is cheaper than 
USPS shipping. So the vinyl didn't move, but forgot to adjust the settings so it didn't cuddle with your, oh no, I, I hate when that happens. That's the worst. Do I have a shipping station? So um, Stars Above Art, I don't know if you want to call me to call you by your name, but um, shipping station in my room, I kind of ship in the living room, on the kitchen table, in my office. <laughs> no, for real though, like I'm sh I, I'm literally all over the place, but I like to do it right here on my craft desk that I built, that big thing in the middle of my room. That is where I'm supposed to be shipping, but half the time I'll just be all over the house, <laughs> just wherever. But yes, I do try and set up, if I'm ever in a very good organized kind of mood, I'll do it in my own office. How thick are my signs with no frames? They're one inch, Anissa. Have you ever used PicScan Map? No, I have not tried that, but I would like to. Yeah, Heather, with Etsy ads, it does seem like it takes time because in the beginning it wasn't, but like I said, now I spent like, what, $130 and made $600 from the $130 on, in a month. So it it's hit or miss. Um, it was not worth it when I had my decals on there because it was my budget was gone within like an hour. That's great, Jenny. That is the best way to do it. Just keep adding things continuously to your shop. My name is Bianca. Let me see if I can change it for you next time. But yes, shipping for decals are very light. Yeah, that is a lot. That is a lot. On the USPS website, they're really expensive. When I used to go to the post office and ship, it was costing me a ton of money. Okay, Erica, I didn't know if you wanted me to call you by your name. I know who you are. Um, I just didn't know if you wanted me to call you by your YouTube name or your actual name. So how do you do your tag that you attach to the wood with your info in social media? Oh, okay. So you're talking about the labels that I make. My tag that I attach my wood with my info. I don't usually put anything on my wood. I will give them their invoice and put it there. But if you're talking about the stickers, I just print those out on my Dymo, which I have a video coming on that soon. I hope that's what you're referring to. I'm all cricket. I love it, Sally. If you get a cricket, I will get a solo. Okay, there you go. It's a deal, Morgan. <laughs> hey, Ashley. Hey, Daft Plan Planner. Hey, Kate and Ashley. So, y'all, I was going to do, I had a plan to talk about stories with you guys of customers, but only like two people shared their stories. And so I didn't know if y'all were comfortable with it. So I didn't want to push y'all to do anything. I had on the Facebook group and on the community tab, I thought it would be like a cute video idea or even just on the live to talk about our customer experiences that we had, whether they've been difficult or the best experience ever. I thought it would be cool to like share a few stories anonymously from you guys and just let us all learn something because I don't know about you guys, but when I have gone through things in my career with customers, like difficult experiences or anything like that, I've learned a lot. So I felt like all of us, if you have been in business for a while, you might have had those kind of experiences where you might have been dealt with a difficult customer or you might have had the like most sweet, heartfelt experience. And maybe we could learn from it. So if you guys do, and y'all do want me to make a video on that, email me. But right now I'm not getting a whole lot of traction. So if it's not something y'all want to do, that's totally cool. I just thought we all could maybe learn something because I'll tell y'all, I have some stories, but I don't want to like, I never want to seem like I'm blasting anybody or anything like that. So I thought if we all went anonymously and had our stories, it would make it a little bit more, I guess, you know, I don't know, not as personal. It would just be something fun for us to learn from. So y'all just let me know what you think about that. Where do I buy my shirt blanks from? I get them from Jiffy Shirts.
<laughs> Thanks, Kate. Yeah, y'all make sure to give this video a like if you're coming in. It does help the um, YouTube algorithm out. Um, but you know what? I'm totally cool with you guys just being here, hanging out. I need to find a good piece of yellow. Oh, thanks, Ashley. Yeah, I needed to get it cut because it was really unhealthy, but now it's at least healthy again. So it's still kind of messy today because it was raining and I can't stop. I, I have a really big problem with just touching my hair continuously. The humidity is awful here in South Carolina. So, um, but thank you. I love that idea. I don't have any but love to watch. How do I like the video? Um, you just, I think it's under, it's somewhere in there. There's a little like button or is it, th no, I'm sorry, a th like button. It's a thumbs up button. You just click it. You can share it, Star, if you want to. I'm so happy to catch the live. Hi, Sally. I bought the Camo 4 Pro. It will come this week. Then I saw the sublimation video. <laughs> um, I have an e-commerce shop and we'll give that, give it to my girlfriend. She will do That's awesome. First of all. It doesn't hurt to have the pro and a sublimation printer. You can do it all. It's not going to hurt anything. But um, definitely don't do like me and just get into a whole bunch of stuff at the same time. Because then you want to work on this. But you also need to work on this and this and this and this. So um, it will come with time, I guess. But I definitely think the pro is good to have. If I can get mine to work properly, that is a great thing to have. Because you can cut those large prints or those large cuts. I once shipped the wrong decal order to two different people. I mixed their shipping labels. But the funny thing is they both liked the things they got and kept them. <laughs> that's the, See, that's the kind of stories I wanted to share. That's funny. Like they both got the wrong order, but they were happy with what they got. That is so, so funny. That is a really funny. And it turned out great. I've had that happen before. I've mixed up two customers' orders before. And it, they both wanted their products, which I can understand, but um, they were very sweet and kind about it. I just let them keep the order they got, and then I sent them both a new one. Do any of you guys have any other stories? You could send them to me through private message, and I can read them now or whatever else. You, I'm going to email my story to you. So, oh, do it, Erica. <laughs> I, if you send me that, guys, I will read the other two that I got from, from people. And then I might throw in one of my own, but you guys won't know which one's mine. So I have some juicy stuff, y'all. But I'm, I'm not ever going to blast people, but they're just funny. Like funny, interesting situations that have happened that now I can laugh. But back then I might have cried. But, you know. This is part of learning, you know? You need a new computer. Yes, yeah, see, Frank, you're, see, you're noticing it too. I need a new computer. But the thing is, I don't want to spend $1,000 plus on a computer. It's just when this one works perfect, I know I need it, but I just don't want to spend $1,000 on a computer, which the kind of computers I'm looking at are like $1,000 plus dollars. Well, speaking of y'all, have you seen how expensive phones are now? Oh my gosh. Phones are more than computers are now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Darn it, I cut the vinyl too small. One, two, three, four, five. Dang it. Um, you have to, okay, you have just cost me money. I have just watched your craft room torn. I bought your grid roller and Oracle. Well, thanks, Kim. But, um, <laughs> I'm costing you money. Well, at least there it's money that will be spent well, right? Can we start a computer fund? <laughs> Sonia, no. You guys just watching are helpful enough for me. So thank you. Yeah, my computer isn't, it's just... It is older, not older. It's like what, 2015 is when I got it, I think. 
So it's not really that old, but I need with all of the stuff that I do with editing and using all my vinyl cutting machines and all that stuff, I really need something with higher RAM and um, more storage space. That's probably what I need to get. So, yeah, I'm not a Mac person, though, Robin. I'm a, I'm a Windows girl through and through. I did recently get an iPad, though, you guys, so I can um, draw more SVGs and things like that. So I've been really loving. I like the Apple products with iPads, but I'm not like a MacBook kind of person. I'm sick of stealing my kids school rulers yet. I, I can I can definitely relate to that. I'll be doing the Band-Aid method here in a minute when these are done, and I'll show you guys that a little bit up close. I asked my IT hubby what you can do, and he said get a new one. Well, I guess I need to get a new one. I just don't know which one to even get. I went to Best Buy one time, and they were, like, not helpful at all. They were like, well, you know, we got all these options. And I was like, well, this is what I do. What can I get? And they're like, well, I'm not, you know, it's just up to you. And I'm like, well, thanks for the help. <laughs> okay, what am I missing? Okay, I had a customer friend wanting two large signs. Here, I'll go ahead and highlight you. Wanting two large signs, like two foot by one foot. And she was appalled with the price I was charging. She said, I don't get why it's so expensive. Don't you just put some trim on plywood? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Please tell me what you did, Taylor, to mend the problem. Did you do the sign? Did you charge her? Did she not get the sign? Do tell. Frank, you guys, I'm not going to let y'all buy me a computer. That is insane. You guys just watching these videos, just you know, how you guys can help me watch the videos, give me thumbs up, subscribe, whatever you, you want to do. That's helpful to me. Um, as much as I love my windows, I have to admit that Max lasts forever. Yeah, but I don't know, y'all. I have everything but the stencil material. What paint do you use? So, Kim, I would recommend checking out the video that I have recently on how I make a framed wood sign from start to finish. It has my paint brands, all the tools I use, everything. So maybe that'll help you a little bit. We don't have a staple any staples anymore, Melissa. They they've closed down almost all the staples in our general driving vicinity. Ladybug. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I don't know if it's live or dead. Oh, really? Goodness. You want to show the friends your ladybug really quick? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Her hair, y'all. It was pulled up in a ponytail. Oh, did you drop the dead ladybug in here? <laughs> oh, no. She brought me a dead ladybug. Oh my gosh, bro, your hair. <laughs> Mom, I think, I think it fell on my she brought me a dead ladybug. Oh, wow. And I don't know where it went. Okay. Well, let's find it real quick. Um, and then you got to go back in there, okay? Um. That is crazy. Yeah, Sarah, I know what you mean. That's a lot. It's it's bad when people don't recognize how much work goes into your products because you got it? You didn't find it? Well, if I find it, I'll let you know, okay? I'll look for it. Um, What we're talking about. Yeah, pricing. Like when my videos came out on how I make my wood signs, People were like, I cannot believe that much work goes into it. And, you know, it's just, it's bad that people don't recognize the amount of effort and work it goes to our signs. So, I trust staples. My husband lives on a computer. Oh, thank you, Frank. 
that is so sweet of you. You totally didn't have to do that. But thank you so, so much. But no, you guys, I don't want your money. Just you being on the channel and all you guys do is good enough. But I do appreciate it. So thank you so, so much. She's like a cat. Y'all, this child of mine, she literally brings me dead bugs all the time from outside. And they're her friends. So, But normally it's just ladybugs. And one time it was a, a millipede. And I was like, put that thing down because that thing's probably poisonous. So things like that. She's um, into bugs a lot. The stickiness after you remove stencil, Ashley, is usually caused by your wood or your polycrylate not being cured fully. I know it might feel dry, but it's usually not cured if there's stickiness. But are you using um, Oracle stencil? Are you using stencil vinyl or are you using vinyl too? I might have missed your comment, Taylor, because I just said you missed the comment or I missed the comment. Let me see if I can find it. I told her they have a hobby section at Home Depot and she said she will do it herself. <laughs> go for her then go in and you do it yourself because that will teach you how much work goes into it. Oh, Taylor, I'm so sorry you went through that. Oh, April, thank you. Computer, fine. you guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you so much, April. I'll, when I go to the store and I buy me a computer, I'm going to say this is from April and Frank. Thank you all so much. <laughs> okay. Um, as long as it's not spiders. Yes, no spiders for me. I do not do spiders. Don't do bugs. I don't do y'all. Y'all, if you've seen my video on my fears that I have, cockroaches are the scariest thing to me. Like I can deal with like some scary stuff, but when it comes to like cockroaches, oh my, no, mm -mm, no, uh, -uh. Uh, Sarah, thank you. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Thank you so much. Now you guys stop though. Y'all don't need y'all don't need to do that. I like I said, you guys watching these videos are good enough and sweet enough and I appreciate it. But thank you so so much. I love you guys. You guys are like friends and family. Y'all are so sweet. I have the same fear. Well, at least I know it's not just me, Ashley. I think it's because of how fast and small and ugh they are. I had a customer. Okay, here's another story. You guys ready for it? I had a customer yell at me asking me why I ran her car twice and why I was taking her money. I called Etsy to make sure that they didn't charge her twice. She must have figured it out because she left five stars. <laughs> well, thank goodness that y'all got it figured out and that she ended up leaving you five stars. But first of all, that is scary. Like the fact that they think that we have their money when we don't even see their information like that. That is a scary thought, but I'm so glad that it worked out to the best of, you know, your abilities. And, um, goodness, that's just, isn't it crazy though? Oh, thank you, Shannon. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. My aura mask has bubbles when I use it. Is that normal? Oh, T Taylor, thank you, you guys. <laughs> Computer fun. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Thank y'all so much. Oh, my goodness. Um, Where was I? Oh, no, another computer fun. <laughs> thank you. Oh, now I have to get a computer. You guys, you just have basically convince me I need to get a computer maybe next week we'll have one sitting here and I won't have to be streaming on this other computer so thank y'all anyways where was I I was looking at aura mask bubbles Katie so this is usually due to where you get your aura mask so get it somewhere reputable like or um, U.S. cutter where they come in large rolls or um just somewhere where it, not Amazon <laughs> 
And then secondly, it could be your mat's too sticky. And when you're pulling it off, it can cause it to bubble. And then the third reason it could bubble is if you're putting it on your wood sign and there's bubbles under your um, wood. So those are the reasons it would bubble. Grace, hey, thank you so much for subscribing. We are, they're talking about a computer fund because I have this poor, sad computer <laughs> and it has cords just hanging out of it that are like about to bust at any moment in time. But I told them I'm so frugal and I don't see the point in buying new computers if mine works. So that is the whole, what this whole thing is about. Hey, the soak or Alicia, I could guess we're on first name basis now, right? Oh, thank you, Wendy. Oh my gosh, you got his computer fund. Frank, it's your fault. Oh my gosh, there's another one. You guys, stop. <laughs> thank you, Paul. Oh, because we love Sally. Oh, you guys are the sweetest. Thank y'all so much. You guys are like the best. You guys are seriously the best. Okay, um, okay, here's another one, another story. I had a lady leave me a negative feedback on eBay saying that I overcharged her because she forgot that she bid on two items and won them and I shipped them together. <gasps> so you, she won the bid. Okay. So she bid on two items and won and then shipped them together. So she left you negative feedback because you, what kind of, oh my gosh, how did you figure that out? Like, did you reach out to her? Did y'all come to any kind of conclusions did you like what kind of solution did you come with or did she just leave unhappy like that? Because that is ridiculous because we always want to come up with what can we do next time? But that's one of those situations that it's not your fault and there's really nothing you could have done. Oh, Lou, thank you. Let's put fun in the computer fun. <laughs> thank you, guys. Oh, you guys are just the sweetest. Okay. Hi, I can't remember what kind of plywood you use on the wood signs. I use, um, I like the blonde wood from Lowe's. So it is kind of a type of plywood, but it's really smooth. I have it linked in my wood sign video. I think linked or I talk about what kind in the wood sign video. And I also use birch. So just depending, I had a bad experience with the last birch. So I kind of might not use that for a little while, but what happened to my computer? So Alicia, it's been like this for probably two years now. And I know that's really bad, but my daughters and mine, we both had the same computer and both of ours did it. So her screen, it's just from opening and closing it. It just had a faulty, I guess, latch, but it's scary because the screen flickers sometimes and there's cords like hanging out. So I think it's pretty close to being actually done for. So, and no amount of tape will hold it up anymore. But anyways, but you guys are being so funny and saying, get Sally a computer fund. And y'all are just the funniest and the sweetest. So can I share a funny customer service? My husband had, husby, <laughs> hubby had, yes, Sarah, go right for it. We are all for the customer stories tonight. Oh, Alicia, thank you. Goodness, guys, y'all really don't have to send me your money. Y'all watching my videos and y'all doing all that is seriously like within itself the best. So thank you. But I do appreciate it. Y'all taking the time to watch these and then putting your money into it. Like oh, I just warms my heart. So thank you. No ma'am is that table skip that new computer and a logo. Good idea, Alicia. Thank y'all. Oh my gosh. And cockroaches love Sally too. <laughs> Well, Frank, it is you. You're the one that started this. So, like I said, I'll be like, I'll have all of you guys' names, and y'all are the reason I'm getting a new computer. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a little giveaway thing ju just for you guys that put this these little things in my computer fund, and I'll give something to y'all. Do a little uh, drawing. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, Salty Heifer Farm, thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much. Ugh. I just want to give back to y'all though. Like I want this to be 
where I can give you guys something too, though. You know, like you guys watching these videos, like I said, is good enough. So don't think that ever you need to give me any kind of money or anything like that. But thank you so much. I appreciate it. Wow. Thank you. So Sarah says, my hubby was an IT tech at a bank and had to handle calls. A lady called in saying that she couldn't get her check to deposit. He told her she had to take a picture of the check with her iPad. Oh, my gosh. So she said she couldn't get her check to deposit. What was she what was she trying to like? Was she trying to. He told her she had to take a picture of the check. So she wasn't, she was trying to deposit it like by herself at home. Is that what she's trying to do? Sally, we didn't tell you the catch. We want all of our names on the wall signs after this. Okay, Paul, I got y'all. I got y'all. I'm going to come up with something clever. Y'all just wait. Y'all just wait. Sally, you're wonderful. You help us out. Oh, thank you, April. <laughs> Salty, yes. Oh, Alicia, I agree. I haven't got, I want to learn how to do it because I see you guys doing it. And I've been wanting to, like, I, I want to give the super chats to people back that I watch lives, but I haven't set up my whole thing yet. And I don't even know how to do it. You guys might have to teach me because there's been so many times where I've wanted to do the same. And, um, like I said, I'm so new, like this whole YouTube live thing, it was new when I started the, um, YouTube. So I'm starting to realize there's this whole community out there of lives and I'm now addicted to them. So Frank, no, gosh, thank you. And Ashley, oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much. You guys are like, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. No, you guys, you'll stop. <laughs> A literal donor wall. Oh, that we should do it. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. But I, I appreciate it. I do. Not much, but trying to know how it is with an old computer. <laughs> well, thank you. I don't even know what to say, y'all. I'm blown away. I just feel so thankful and appreciative right now. Um, Frank's going to buy it all by himself. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should name the computer Frank. Does that sound like a plan? <laughs> Did I miss the true crimes discussion? So we have, are we talking about still the um, call or the, um, are we still talking about the, are you talking about the, oh my gosh, I can't even talk tonight. Are we still talking about the customer stories? Is that what you're talking about, Alicia? We told a couple, but I'm going to go read it. I have some emails. I'm going to read some. I did miss your comment, I think. Ashley, you might have to resend it to me because I can't find it. I'm trying to go back up and look, Ashley. Oh, okay. Was it this one, Ashley? I used to stencil vinyl, but I didn't seal it because she wanted whitewashed. I, was I supposed to seal before spray painting? She Okay, so I used stencil vinyl, but I didn't seal it because she wanted whitewashed. Was I supposed to seal it before spray painting? So I don't spray paint um, painted wood. I'm, I'm sorry, I said that so wrong. I don't seal painted wood. I only seal um, the stained signs. So if that's what you're referring to, you did it fine. So I only seal signs that are done a different way. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's see. Where was I? Um, there is the money dollar sign. Click that. Oh. I'm lost. Stars remove vinyl from what signs? Frank the laptop. <laughs> oh, Michelle. Oh, my God. You guys, stop. Stop, Jenny, y'all, thank you so much. You guys are the best. Oh my God, you guys are the best. Thank you so much, but y'all stop, <laughs> stop. Because <laughs> I want to give back to you guys. Like y'all are the ones that made me have this like 14,000 subscribers. Like what? 
you guys are already doing so much for me by just being here to support me. And y'all don't even know, but thank you so much from the, bo from the bottom of my heart. Y'all gonna make me cry tonight. And I wasn't planning on crying, but thank you guys. Um, why don't I seal painted signs? So there's just no need to seal. If they're going to be inside, I just kind of leave them as is. And I've had signs last, gosh, however long I've been doing signs and there's nothing wrong. I do seal my frames, but I don't seal the painted signs. Lou, oh, you hunch, Lou. Y'all don't have to give me anything. And you have already helped with so much knowledge because this a new world here, you guys. He has a channel and he is in the top 1% of Etsy shops. He is killing it on Etsy. So I don't want to hear it. And he is him and his wife, Lou, or him and his wife, him and his wife, Rebecca, are seriously like the sweetest and funniest people out there. So, um, I need to go back because I'm missing some stuff. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to um, catch up on these comments. If I missed anybody, please let me know. Okay. Um, you are loved, accepted all. Well, I love you guys too for all the help and entertainment. My shop is higher than your, no way, Lou. I don't, like I said, I, my shop comes in waves. I get so many sales around Christmas that it basically Christmas time is my, like starting in October through December, I'm like working nonstop. But this time of the year is like a steady kind of stream of orders that I'm okay with. And I honestly, I'm putting this time to invest in new things, learning new things, YouTube, all this stuff, because I could, if I wanted to put more effort in my shop and make a ton more sales, I probably could do it. I just, I would get so stressed out. And like I am around the holidays, I needed a break. <laughs> I was so overwhelmed you guys. Cause it's only me. I do it all by myself. I do all the woodworking. I do all the vinyl. I do all the packaging. I do everything on top of like taking care of the kids, the house, everything. It's a lot of work. So I do my best. I try. But Lou, you guys are like killing it. You guys are killing it. Let's see. Oh, well, see, y'all do not have to do anything. So don't even don't even worry about it at all. National 6,000 global. Lou, what is that number from? Is that you, like the amount of sales? Oh, thank you, Sammy and Tina. Sammy says, I've been loving your channel. I just opened my shop creations by Star Selling Scrunchies. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you, Tina. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I'm going this week to get a new computer because of y'all. <laughs> y'all are the best. Um, but y'all seriously, don't worry about it. Please, please don't y'all be get, send your money to, you know, things like charities and things. I don't know. I just, I feel really guilty. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shirley. Oh my gosh. Thank you for all you do and helping us in our crafting. You guys are going to make me cry. That's my shop ranking. Really? Lou? I have to go back and look at that number you said. So 6,594. Is that my, that's my number right now? Wow. Morgan. Oh my gosh. I want my name on that wall. Oh, get your computer. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. You guys, this is like turning into some kind of like <laughs> charity thing. I feel so guilty. Like seriously, don't, you guys can, don't do this. I feel really bad, but thank you so much. I started my Etsy shop a few weeks ago, but I'm just working on adding listings. So keeping it on the download. Hey, I that's how I, like I said, in the, I remember I looked back and I started it months before and I just kind of slowly started playing around with it. And then finally I opened it one day and it was this big build up. I was like, I finally did it. 
And then um, a couple days later, finally got that first sale. Oh, y'all, I forgot to check and see the emails because I got some emails about customer stories. Let me go back and look really quick. If it makes you feel any better, I have streamers that donated hundreds to you, providing entertainment and value to us all. Oh, thank you, Lou. Well, you guys are amazing. You guys are the best. Seriously, the most genuine. I swear everybody I have dealt with is so amazing on here. I've I've only come across a few little salty people, but you know what? That is life. But you, most of y'all are like the best. And you can, all of you that are on the Facebook group, or do we not have the best like Facebook group? Is everybody not seriously the best and the sweetest and the most helpful? I really truly believe it too. So one of the um, stories that somebody sent me, and I don't know where the message is, but she said, oh gosh, where was it? Um, she had a customer, and I hope I'm saying this right. I'll have to go back and look if I can find it. But she had a customer that did, she did local pickups and the customer, like she would leave her orders in a box in the front of her house. And she had a bunch of orders there. And the one customer that was difficult stole all of the other um, items that she had for sale for all her other customers. And her dad or somebody that she knows was the police department head. And they um, tracked her down and got all the orders back. But she stole all of the local orders that that girl had. And that's one reason, y'all, don't do no local pickup stuff because... I think from now on, my stuff is only going to be ship only unless I like know you super well because I've been stood up a lot. I Back when I was sewing. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, you guys. Thank you, oh, Rebecca. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. You guys stop sending me money. I'm going to I'm going to give this back to you guys. OK, I really am. In some way or another, I'm going to. But um, I had customers back um, when I would do sewing. I would make the actual products. I would work um, hard hours on them. Like sewing is a lot of work. I would do them and I would go meet up and nobody would meet up with me. And so I did all that work for nothing. So I don't do local stuff anymore. I don't think it's worth it. It's not worth risking. And if you do do local things, make sure you do it to where they have to pay for it first. <laughs> I actually had that happen where I, I told the person they had to pay first. And they said, oh, no, no way. I was like, okay, bye. Um, Renee, thank you guys. Oh, Y'all, stop. <laughs> See, now I have to get this computer now. There's no turning back. Did she go to sleep? What? What? <laughs> Send everybody a pineapple decal. There you go. I stopped doing local. Okay, I'm about to do the Band-Aid method. So, see, it is a pineapple. You can't see it. So, you just take it, put it down, grab the corner, and then you just rip it like a Band-Aid. And there it goes. Super cool, y'all, right? Super fast, easy. And you can do them within seconds, so. <sighs> He's like, where's all this money coming from? <laughs> you talking about my husband? I have been getting a lot of people saying, hey, I want this, but then not getting back to me when I tell them a price. Yeah, that is, it's really irritating. But you know what? Those aren't the kind of customers that you want. Okay, I'm going to do another Band-Aid. You ready? What? I was talking to the computer. Let's see.
Frank, stop. <laughs> My computer's name will be Frank. Okay. I cannot believe this. Thank you. Now, stop. I wish I had a button. Is there a button to turn these off, y'all? I don't even know how to. I can't do it on the stream yard. I, y'all, you seriously. I really, truly appreciate it. But y'all, I feel bad. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Frank is the legend. <laughs> oh, you guys are so nice, man. Frank, are you in our Facebook group? Or are you just a watcher on YouTube here? Lou, you guys, I'm seriously going to turn this thing off if y'all keep sending those. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. Y'all are going to make it look like I made, like, bank tonight here on YouTube. <laughs> Golly. S say stop one more darn time. <laughs> You guys, seriously, thank you so much. I'm I, from the bottom of my heart, seriously, y'all, thank you. But you really don't have to do that. Hello from the UK. Hello, Andrew. Frank is the only one dumping his wallet. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Any suggestions on getting out there more? I made an Etsy and a Facebook group, but I'm not getting a lot of people actually buying. So Ashley, just keep it up. Like you'll build an organic growth through Etsy. I didn't really advertise much of any at all on um, Facebook. I hardly got sales on Facebook. People locally, for some reason, don't buy a lot of the things that I sell. From what I've noticed, they there might be people out there, but I just have noticed that it takes a little bit more effort and people not around me. I don't know if it's just because the price of wood signs aren't really cheap. If you think about it, I mean, $35 and up-ish for signs, some people just don't want to spend that kind of money. So I just recommend just keep tr putting your stuff out there. Keep posting pictures. If you do get traction on a particular post on Facebook, boost the post and then it'll get seen more. Um, I've read that from like an advertiser guy. He said, don't boost random posts, boost the posts that are starting to already get traction. And then it just boosts it even more things like that. Um, so yeah, I would just keep on posting your stuff. One day you're going to get that bestseller and you're just going to get all the sales. So just, just keep being patient. Thank you, Tandy. Oh my goodness. You deserve a working computer. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys, I feel so guilty. But thank you. Oh my goodness. Where am I from? I am from, where do you think I'm from? No, I'm from South Carolina. So I am kind of at the top of South Carolina. I won't go into the exact location, but um, in, in the United States, South Carolina. I only do local orders. I send them a PayPal invoice and they need to pay the invoice before I even start the order. That's smart. That's how you should do things. I guess I had a lot of trust that I put in people because it would be children's clothing. And I'd be like, they're not going to stand me up, but they would. So anybody will do it. So I need to get this next batch of vinyl cut. We got a mermaid scales. When, when will you post your bleached tea tutorial? So I have that coming. I'm going to launch my shirts probably this week, I think. So once I do that and I get the orders, my computer just, did y'all hear it? Look. Y'all see it over here? It's just, oh gosh. I have cords just hanging out of it. It's really, it's got, it's really gotten bad over the last like week, but it works. So, and I'm just cheap, y'all. That's really what it is. I'm just cheap. But um, anyways, what were we talking about? Oh, bleach teas. Yeah, that's going to come after I launch. When I launch the shirts and I get the orders, I will do those. Okay, um, 
I'm looking for my mermaid scales vine. Oh, it's right here. How come you stopped your sewing? So Kate, or Kim, Kim, I used to sew all the time, but I kind of just found a love in other things. So that's kind of what got me away from it. I still love it. I do it sometimes for my own family and my own children and just projects and things here and there. Um, oh, your hair, baby. Okay, if you're good, I'll get it for you. I'm almost done. I am being good. Okay, I'll go get it for you then. She had her hair up in a ponytail. <laughs> um, but yes, what were we even talking about again? I forgot again. Oh, Kim. I was answering Kim's question. Yes, sewing. I still do it some, but not for sale anymore. Guys, I don't need any money. You don't need to donate anything, Kate. Please don't think. This, these people are just, you know, just, I guess doing it from their own goodness of their heart. But you don't have to. You really, really don't have to. Your watching is good enough. So thank you so, so, so much. Um, yes, I will get you the green ice cream. Yes, you're being so good. Sorry, I'm talking to my little one. You, your new Frank should be an HP. <laughs> yeah, I we got my daughter this HP that I'm on right now, and it works really well. So I might, I don't know, I'm going to really look into it and get a very high RAM one because I want one that's going to work with all the crap that I do every day. Because my computer really is used all day for everything, for editing, for doing the vinyl cutting, for silhouette stuff, everything. Um, Katie, I it's inside, but it's kind of in the, what is that thing called, the hinge? So it is the screen. This is the screen wire, so it's probably fine. Every few minutes I hear a clunk from her screen falling. <laughs> I highly recommend. Yes, that's what I thought as a gaming one for sure. I'm in Doncaster. Doncaster? Oh, the lockdown's bad up there. Oh, Frank, I'm glad you're on the group for sure. Yeah, we. I love the group so much. It's just amazing. At least we have the beaches to walk on. It's driving me mad nearly a year now. Wow. Everything's pretty much open around here. It doesn't mean I go and do everything, though. Like, all the parks, everything. I'm just nervous to go. Yes, ma'am. I'll be right there. Can y'all hear her talking? <laughs> she said, I mean, are you coming to get me my green ice cream? Or, and she said, you're just taking so long. <laughs> No, nobody donate any, oh, Jackie, thank you. <laughs> nobody donate anymore. I don't even know how to turn the donations off. I really don't know how. I'm trying to look around and I'm on this streaming service thing and I don't see any way to turn it off. <laughs> but thank you, guys. I, I, thank you, I appreciate it. But you guys really don't need to, to donate anything. My laptops are gaming, but they don't play games. Yeah, that's that's usually what they're um, they're good for anything using even um, just I think what is it for high graphics? Yes, learning the two. I have the two, and I love it. I love the three is my favorite. The silhouette three. So no, it's not outdated. As long as the firmware is updated, it's totally cool. So. Sonia, oh my gosh, you guys, uh, Ashley and Ny Nairo, thank God, y'all stop donating money, seriously, stop, <laughs> you guys are so amazing, though, thank you, please know that I'm so grateful, but y'all, seriously, I don't need any more money, I really appreciate it, though, you guys are so funny, y'all are, like, put pressure in me to get this new computer, hey, Red, haven't seen you in a while, I guess, if you and Nita have been putting up, y'all, I got Nita. I saw her recent video, which was amazing. Have you been putting up videos? I haven't seen yours in about, a, what, a week or something? But I also am really behind on my YouTube people. 
I need to go watch a bunch of videos. I have so many people I watch. But yes, let's see. Oh, thanks, Lou. Red, the light of my life. Red, I think you have a crush. Um, I think Lou has a crush on you. <laughs> oh, no. Every time she says, stop, add $5. No, don't do it. Oh, my goodness. You guys are funny. You guys are so funny. Is someone in my room? No. I heard somebody crawling in here. Yes, we've been super busy this week. Need to get editing done. New shop coming. Oh, I can't wait to see um, see that, Eric. Yeah, there's nobody in your room. I hope that that dead ladybug isn't under my feet somewhere because I've been stepping around. It wasn't dead. It wasn't dead? I don't think so. Oh, my gosh. It didn't have any spots, so it's most likely dead. <laughs> Thank you, Morgan. I actually have something in the works for a lot of you um, coming that um, is going to provide more for you guys. So that's coming. That's all I'm going to say because I haven't really done much into it yet, just in the thought process of it is. But just know that there's going to be even more coming, even more help. So I have a lot of things that I've been thinking and planning for y'all. So y'all just stay tuned for that. Thank you, Erica. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. It's a cockroach, Sally. Don't tell me that, Melissa. You guys know that I don't like cockroaches. I seriously, at our old house, we had, it was really old. So we had sometimes like little ones that came in sometimes in the cold. I was, the first time I ever saw one, y'all, I was on literal, like I took everything out of the house and like we sprayed the crap out of that house like because I was so scared it was only one cockroach I don't like cockroaches I don't like them won't deal with it luckily at this house we don't have that problem <laughs> but y'all I don't do those bugs man mm -mm. there you go Kim <laughs> Oh, Lou, where are you guys at with watch hours now? You guys have got to be close. Yes, Kate. I see you said Sally. I hate bugs. Do you sell iron-on decals for your t-shirts? No, I do not, Kate. But hopefully, maybe one day, I will sell transfers and things like that. But not at this time. But I do plan on making um, sublimation transfers that you guys, if you guys just have a way to apply heat, I'm going to sell the transfers for you guys. Thank you, Salty. You already, you already donated. So no more. And I'm not going to say STOP anymore. Thank you, Linda. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I almost said it again. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Thanks for all your videos. Because of you, I have made the pine wood signs, the frame signs today. I just started painting a mason jar. Cash, that's amazing. You know what? I'm jealous because mason jars, I don't know if it's like this for you guys, they're completely gone everywhere. I cannot find my smooth sided mason jars anywhere. No, do not donate anymore, you guys. No. You guys are the best, but I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong, but please, no more. Okay. What was the question? Did I miss something? Um, oh, you're so close, Lou. Easy peasy. We're not even stressing. Well, even though it's not stressful, it's still fun to meet a milestone like that, though. I remember when I hit it, it was like a monumental thing. And it's not just because you're able to, you know, monetize. It's the fact that you're like, you know, you feel like you've passed that bridge and that thing that you've worked for. So that way you and you already have this community you've been building, too. So it's just it's just an incredible feeling to just beat a milestone, I guess. Thank you, Cynthia. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, their ours are gone, our mason jars. I cannot find them anywhere. I've been looking 
Every time we go to the store, I look and they never have them. Can you use an iron on sublimation transfer? Yes, Kate, you can use you. If you have an, um, any kind of way to apply heat and pressure, you can do the sublimation transfers or you can do the HTV transfers, but you do have to have that pressure for sure. Sally posted a video of you shopping. That's an amazing idea, Linda. I'm going to take you guys with me. Is that, is that lame? Cause I feel like that would be a good video. That'd be so funny. Who here watches the LeBrant fam? I don't watch them, but I've heard of them for sure. Definitely heard of them. I have 12 boxes of mason jars. Dang, Carrie, I wish you were closer because I need them. And it's the smooth sided that I can't find. Yes, I'll bring y'all with me. I'll, I'll will definitely bring y'all with me. That'll be a good video. I got to use up the last of my um, holographic from Swing Design. I do really like the holographic that I got from, where was I telling you guys? What was it called? Oh my gosh, from Amazon. The Tech Wrap. I never remember that name for some reason. I really like the Tech Wrap holographic. Oh, thank you, Kim and Williams Orange Smiles. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Not lame. We want to see. <laughs> have I tried Starcraft yet? So I have, um, not, but I told you guys I have something fun coming. I have some Starcraft videos coming. Um, I cannot wait to try that vinyl out, y'all. I have heard from some of several birdies how amazing that the Starcraft HD vinyl is. So I'm going to be trying that. Y'all stay tuned because it's coming very, very soon. Salty Heifer, what is your name? <laughs> what is your name? Thank you so much. I guess I really got to be careful not say the, the other word that she tells me I can't say. <laughs> they just started a studio vlog the other week. She stops an insane amount of stickers and goodies. Oh, that sounds fun. I love finding new YouTubers to watch. When you measure your signs to center your wording, do you measure the center of your sign with the center of the wording or make sure the sides have an equal open space? So Courtney, have you watched my wood sign video where I show kind of how I center them? Oh, but you're asking, do I measure the center of the sign with the center of the wording? So yes, when I put my stencil down, I put it down with the backing still on it. And then I measure from side to side, up and down. Then I tape it, do the hinge method. And I show it in that video. So check it out if you haven't already. I know Lou Salty is over there every time I say a certain word. I know you guys are the best. What do you do to help with bleeds from the spray paint? So Brittany, I, I've noticed that spray paint doesn't typically bleed unless you're like super close and cake it up or it has um, bubbles in the spray paint where it just kind of splatters out. So um, I would definitely say as long as you're doing that base coat on the top of your stencil and just going light coats and um, making sure that you have that perfect temperature and humidity. I do take mine inside once I've spray painted them because sometimes that uh, humidity can just be too much for it. You got to kind of baby it. But honestly, I love the results that they give me for the big signs. I really don't spray paint my stints or stained signs because I really like the look that the rolled paint gives my stained signs. So I might one day do that, but I'll let y'all know if I figure it, anything else out. Cynthia, are you serious? Because I was just there and they didn't have it. At least yesterday. Um, yes, take us with you to buy it. I will. I will take y'all with me. I will make it my goal to take it with me. 
How long have I been on? Oh, wow. Two and a half. I told my kids two hours, and here we are at two and a half hours. You didn't say two hours. You said an hour and 30 minutes. I know. I know. She makes little food jewelry. Oh, is that the um, mini, brand. mini brands jewelry? My daughter has been collecting those. I've been busy getting nighttime routine done with the kids, but I've been listening and I got to say the entire community, y'all are such amazing blessings. Are they not? You all are the absolute best. And I seriously don't know what I did to deserve you guys. Gosh, it just like literally blows me away. And the fact that you, it's like y'all are literally like a family. Like I, I honest to goodness, like feel that way. Everybody is seriously the, I have not come across like, hardly any haters on here. I mean, yeah, there's been a couple, but um, nothing. Y'all trump everything. So, all right. Have I ever done craft tour videos? Yes, Alvita or Alveta. I actually do have a recent craft room tour that I did maybe a few videos back. So check it out. I live in Louisiana and just thinking about the hot summers. Does spray paint become temperate with the hot weather like it does with cold? So I keep my spray paint inside. You'll see in my craft room tour where I keep it just because of the humidity. But yes, what I'll do is I will spray paint it if it's freezing cold and I'll just bring it in like a temperature controlled environment. You can do it in your garage, but just make sure you have like a heater of some sort just while the paint is curing. And it doesn't take long. It only takes maybe... 20 to 30 minutes to dry at most. So that is what I do and it works. I just accepted the challenge. What challenge are we talking about, Salty? Salty, did you tell me your name? Because I like to call people by their names if I know them. Oh, thanks, Sonia. Okay, well, I still I need to get this vinyl on the machine. I'm just sitting here getting distracted. Sometimes I'll put a color and the vinyl will be so tiny. I can't see what color it is. I think this is purple. Oh, where is it? Do I, I think I have a sample that size. Oh, thank you guys. Really, Sherry? Did my computer just seriously die? It died on me when I was in the middle of about to cut this final. Oh, did you hear that? What was that? Frank. What? Frank, you stop it, right? I wish I could turn these super chats off. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. What did he say? It's either your computer or Starbucks. Who am I kidding? I'll go to Starbucks. My Facebook request is big. <laughs> Frank, thank you. Seriously, stop. <laughs> oh, no, I said the word. No, nobody sent anything else for real. For real, for real. I don't know. how. I'm going to have to figure out how to turn these off so you guys will s quit. <laughs> oh, you guys. I'm going to go accept you right now. You. <laughs> Frank is going to have a, a name on that. I'm telling you for real. You'll have it. Watch. There will be a decal with the name Frank on it. I'm serious too. Uh, that is too funny. Carolyn's bored out of her mind in her room. Looking forward to the laptop unboxing. See, it'll be our little like joke or a little inside joke because... A lot of like the regular people that don't watch the lives, because there's people that say they don't like lives. They're going to be like, what? Why is she taking us to get a computer? <laughs> but you guys will know. Y'all will know the inside joke. Lou. <laughs> thank you. Is it Havon or Javon? Javon? <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. I don't even know how much y'all have donated tonight, but it is insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to give back to you guys. You just wait. The giveaway is going to be super epic. Where is my, let's see. 
member request. Oh, we got 11 since starting the live. I always got to check through and make sure we don't have bots, though, you guys, because we've been getting a few um, either. I don't know if they're bots. They could be scammers. And I'm really particular about the people that go into my group. Thank you, Roberta. Oh, thank you so much. But yeah, I don't let any kind of funny business in this group. You can ask Cassie. I don't know if she's still on here. She's my moderator. We're like little detectives. Cassie, are you still on here? Um, we check people out and make sure that they are not going to um, be any kind of scammers or anything. Because I don't do that kind of stuff. Okay, I just approved everybody. Thanks for your help. Learn something new. Oh, thank you for, for everything. I wonder what the tally is so far. I don't know, Katie. Let's, feel, let's see if there's a way for me to look. Um, It's only letting me go back so far, but I'm sure I'll be able to see it. The second, so I said, was it Javon? Is that right, Javon? Oh, thank you, Deanna. <laughs> salty. Cindy. There you go. Salty. Cindy Salty. Salty Cindy. <laughs> Cindy, are you salty? I have a shirt that I'm actually selling that says don't be salty and it has the it's kind of it's not copyrighted because it's a little bit different than the salt girl, the Morton salt girl. But it has the Morton salt girl and she's sitting there with the umbrella and it says don't be salty and she's spilling salt. It's just so fun. It's so cute. That's going to be one of the shirts I'm, I'm selling. Oh, hey, Abby. Well, I'm so glad that you said hi. I appreciate it. Oh, it does help. Thank you, Frank. Javon. Maybe it's Javon. Is that right? Javon? 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 It's got to be one of the two, right? Salty, you stop. <laughs> Cindy, see, now I'm going to be always calling you Salty. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. You guys got to let me give back to you guys. For real. All of y'all. Um, Did my computer ever turn back on? See, my computer is getting mad at y'all. It said, how dare you let her replace me after all I have done for her? Which it has. It's been a good computer, but it's just, it's just done. It's over it. I said it right. Oh, gosh. But which one was it? Was it the Javon? Okay. Oh, thank you. I plan to create. I missed a lot. You deserve all the super chats and so much more. Get a Mac. I have the same one for six years and do everything. Oh, thank you so much. Y'all better, y'all better. Oh, I almost said it. Y'all better quit sending super chats for real. It's almost like y'all are just making a little game out of it. Morgan. <laughs> thank you. But it's got quit. <laughs> Quit is not stop. How much does it cost to ship a 12 by 24 sign? So Kelly, it really depends where you're shipping it to and from. But I've noticed it can be as cheap as like $9 and it can be as expensive as like 20 ish. So I think it just depends on where you're shipping it. If I'm shipping it to like California, which is super far from here, it's pretty high. But you can look around, you can play around with it and see if FedEx is cheaper or UPS, but most of the time 12 by 24s are cheaper doing USPS, but it just depends. Oh, thank you, Isaac. I appreciate it. I need to tally up how much you guys have donated tonight. It's like crazy amounts, but y'all do not need to do that. Oh, gosh. My phone is like super close to dying. Do any of you like wait until your stuff is literally about to die at any moment in time? You're not giving my green ice cream. I know, I promised her green ice cream. So I need to go in a minute and give her green ice cream. So I'll answer a couple questions and then I got to go put them to bed too because it's getting late. Um, 
How much should I charge for small decals like five by seven? So it really depends actually on if it's like multicolor or I have a standard like rate I do for decals. I usually do this, the um, largest inch. So if it's five by seven, maybe you could do seven dollars or eight dollars. And then if it's multicolor, it'll be a little bit more. So just kind of go and look around. I do a lot of pricing homework where I go and price around other decal shops and just see what the going rate is. I actually haven't done that in a whole year. So I probably need to do it and see if my decal pricing is still up to date. So. You better know I'm not saying it, Morgan. <laughs> We're trying to figure out our new air fryer and listening along. All oh, red, let me know how that goes. I love my air fryer. Somebody on my group today suggested they make steak bites in the air fryer, which is super cool. Like, what the heck? You can make steak bites? So um, that is what we're doing this week. And we make all the chicken nuggets, all the unhealthy stuff, to be honest. I am the original salty heifer. <laughs> Bye, Melissa. I hope you have fun walking the dog. <clears throat> oh, yeah, almost choked. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> My brother laughed at me the other night. Well, not the other night. This was probably like a month ago. Like, if, if you ever got choked up, I, like, hit myself in the back. Do any of you guys do this? Because everyone laughed at me and said, nobody does that. Like, who hits themselves in the back when they're coughing? But do you guys do that? Or is that, like, seriously a thing that nobody does? I know that sounds so, probably so stupid. Oh, thank you, Andrew. And <laughs> Cindy, is that what your name was, Cindy? Cannot believe you just did it again. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Christy, thank you. You said you have helped so many. Have you heard this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Have you heard the saying, don't take my blessings away from me? Don't take everyone's blessings away and enjoy the shopping. Thank you so much, Christy. Thank you. Oh, gosh, I'm going to butcher your name. Neve Steer, thank you so much for the super chat. And Ashley, thank you, guys. Y'all, I'm going to get my computer this week because of y'all. <laughs> thank you so, so much. I did roasted asparagus in my air fryer. Well, that sounds good. Chicken wings. Oh, yes. Chicken wings. So good. I love all the chicken wings. All that good stuff is just so good in the air fryer. I've never hit myself in the back. <laughs> I hit myself in the front, like pound my chest. So it must really not be a normal thing. Maybe it's not. <laughs> You deserve Sally for everything you've taught us. Oh, thank you so much. Are you ready for me to get off now? <laughs> My kids are just like staring at me in the door. Well, guys, I think I'm going to let y'all go. It's been a good, good night. And thank you so much. Y'all did not have to donate any amount of money. But the fact that you did, I appreciate each and every one of you. Even if you didn't, please don't think that you have to do that to for me to like think anything of you. Because I think the world of all of you guys so thank you. And I saw somebody ask, did you make a TikTok? I'm going to make it. So look out for that, Miss Sky. <laughs> um, and but yes, I um, I love all of you and thank you for watching. And I will catch up with you all here soon. Tons of video ideas coming this week. So y'all stay tuned for those and check with us on the group. If you're not in the Facebook group, I'm on there all the time. So um, chat with me throughout the week and everything. And um, I just appreciate y'all so much. And y'all are the best. Y'all are the best. So thank you. And I will see y'all tomorrow whenever I get the next video up. Bye, everyone.